beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now we've been we've been discussing a series on family life. Those outside, can you hear me? Say praise the Lord. God bless you. Hallelujah. Please, everyone, follow. Tonight I prayed and I prayed and I said, God, do something remarkable in this place. Hallelujah. Look up, please. There are seven mountains. Remember our series on the kingdom. There are seven mountains that I believe that God is raising and anointing the body of Christ to occupy, to take over, and to legislate on behalf of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Mountain number one is the business and economic world. God wants men to conquer that mountain. Mountain number two, politics and governance. God is seeking for men who have an understanding of the spirit. Men after the order of Daniel who can legislate on behalf of territories and speak the counsel of God in our social environment. Mountain number three, family life. Family life is becoming a mess. Every arm robber was born by a woman, true or false. Every thief and tout that is threatening the society was born by a woman. So it's important that the life and the glory of God be taken to that, that area. Hallelujah. Mountain number four, education. Education. The value system of the kingdom must be taken. Education is so important because that is the principle of sustainability. When you educate people, you mentor them, you train them, you build them. It brings about continuity. Hallelujah. What's mountain number five? The arts and entertainment. Arts and entertainment. Very, very important. We have a lot of musicians. We have a lot of footballers, movie actors, celebrities who can influence an entire territory just with one movie, one song, one rap and so on and so forth so we need to take god and his value systems there mountain number what now six the media any man can buy airtime and say anything 
whether for or against God. We've had people speak against God directly. What's the last mountain? Huh? How can it be sports? Religion. The mountain of religion. We have several kinds of religions and all of their leaders and founders have a say and they have an influence over people. So we need to invade that mountain. Let's review the mountains very quickly again. Number one, business. We, we are tired of poor and broke churches, poor and broke Christians, poor and broke people. Hallelujah. We are tired of unbelievers controlling the wealth and the finances and allowing a few people to just crouch for resources. It's not of God. It's devilish. More sinners will go to hell as a result of poverty than lack of preachers. Hallelujah. Second mountain. Sorry? Politics and governance. Someone can sit down and legislate that land should not be sold for church building again. Is that true? No matter how anointed you are, you will suffer from that legislation. Recently, the gay movement was tested a bit in our senate i thank god because there is a level of decorum we have hallelujah our national assembly has not derailed from the value of the kingdom that much and so they just kicked it out at once there are countries today that they have passed certain bills into law and they did not call any preacher or pastoral association for their consultation so two people can decide to get married. Listen carefully. A man and a man. And they can choose the church they want to join them. And as a pastor, if you don't join them, they will withdraw your license. Sue you, lock up your church, pack up everything. Hallelujah. This is very disastrous. So we need men who have the fear of God. Men who understand the values of the kingdom to invade our government. Hallelujah. The Ten Commandments is not kicked out by herbalists. It's kicked out by parliament people. People who sit down and legislate on behalf of the kingdom. We can keep praying in tongues and throwing ourselves up and down. But so long as there are people who are legislating things that are not consistent with the will of God. It's terrible. In China, you cannot have more than a child now. One is okay. Praise God. It's terrible. They carry out free abortions before they pay women's salary. If by any reason, whether knowingly or unknowingly, your husband gets you pregnant, you are in for it. What did I say? Whether knowingly or unknowingly. That is none of their business. You have one child, that's enough. Because they are trying to control whatever they want to control. It's terrible. So we need people there. Number three. Family life. How many of you agree with me that family life is in a mess right now? It needs a reordering. Hallelujah. The boundaries that have been kept have been taken away. We do not even know where the boundaries are again. And this is why this series is important. But let's just review the other mountains. You can get all of this in our teachings on the kingdom. The fourth mountain. Education. Very important. For as long as we keep teaching people. You know, I told you one of our dreams is by the time God gives us an opportunity, we are going to build a school, a world-class school. I've shared it with the leaders. We will build a school and there are three courses we are going to add to the curriculum. One is called spiritual growth, financial education, and koinonia. These are three courses that our students must offer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For you to write YEG, they say you must pass mass and English. For us, you must pass mass, English, financial education, and spiritual growth. Yeah. We keep raising intellectuals who have no fear and no knowledge of God. And their knowledge makes them fools. The Bible says there were two trees in the garden. One, the tree of life. The other, the tree that brings the knowledge of both good and evil. Hallelujah. The fifth mountain 
arts and entertainment. Very important. Hallelujah. Some of you are gifted and skilled fashion designers, beauticians, and so on and so forth. We need people to carry the value system. We don't want the world teaching us how to dress. Coming with every kind of junk and everything. We don't want the world controlling us. Let the best footballers be tongue-talking Christians. Let the best golfers be tongue-talking Christians who can say no to every Jezebel that wants to come and throw down their destiny. Hallelujah. We need to take the value system of the kingdom. Mountain number six, the media. I look forward to times when we will not just own. See, I truly believe that during our time, owning a television station will be like owning a handset. Hallelujah. We are talking about satellites. We are not talking about television stations. Hallelujah. Owning satellites and we pay for the bill for decades ahead of time. We can do anything we want to do. Nobody comes to tell us what to put on air or what to take out of air, how to culture and edit our words. When you are listening to Christian programs and someone says a vulgar word, they have ways of canceling it. There are other programs that when you are mentioning the things of God, they cancel it the same way. That is nonsense. You can't stand begging the government for permission and airtime and they give us five minutes and ten minutes. If you want to worship for the whole day, let's have it. Thank God for the ministries that have television stations. It's a breath of fresh air in this wild jungle of Babylon where everything can just be posted online. Hallelujah. Then the last mountain is the mountain of religion. Religion has caused more harm to the body. It's all kinds of things. We need men who will rise up. This is where you talk about the fivefold authentic Christianity. And I'm glad to announce to you that Nigeria will present the true portrait of apostolic Christianity to the world. Yeah, this is true. Hallelujah. The mantle left UK in the days of Smith Wigglesworth and went down to America and they merchandised it by their intercourse with Babylon and it left to Asia and now it's returned to Africa. We will show the world the true portrait of what true apostolic Christianity is. If you believe that, say amen. amen. So today we are going to consider one of the mountains, family life. Pastor Jake started it. How many of you were blessed? Celebrate him. May God cause men to celebrate you just the way you did. <laughs> Selfish people. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't worry, I'm just joking. You're not selfish people. You're spirit-filled champions and generals on your way to tear down the walls of evil. Hallelujah. So, now, please understand this. We are going to be very comprehensive in this series. We are not just talking about... For many people, when they just talk about um, relationship, the circumference of our dealing is just a guy, a lady, how they should get into a relationship and they stop there. Uh -uh. The journey starts from knowing yourself down till fatherhood, raising children, and that's why it's called family life. It's not called relationship series, right? Family life. So it's a journey. Praise the Lord. I want you to listen because the Lord told me he will answer a lot of questions tonight. And I know a few people, I hope they are here. I told them to be here. Who sent me a lot of questions, you know, about several confusions that they've had along this area. And I told them, look, just come for the program. God bless you. Pastor Jake started by talking about a godly relationship. And... We want to bring believers into an understanding of the biblical principles that govern godly relationships and family life. Everybody say after me, I'm a Christian. That means I'm a child of God. That means I'm not of the world. That means I have the value system of the kingdom. Yeah, that's true. You have the value system of the kingdom. You are not of the world. You cannot afford to do things... The way people are just doing it. And it's very sad. Please look up. It's very sad. Over 90% of us in this place have learned everything we learned about relationship and family life 
either from media or our friends or our bitter experiences. Hallelujah. There are few ministries that pay the price to talk about family life and the principles of godly relationships. And you see, what you don't teach people, when you don't teach people certain principles, they learn just anything that comes. Is that correct? There are pastors that castigate and condemn people and get angry at their members because they don't seem to be excelling in this area. But then they will not teach the truth. The Bible says faith comes by hearing. When, when Adam said, the Lord, the Bible says in, in Genesis 3, it says, and he heard the voice of God walking in the cool of the day. And he said, Adam, where are thou? Adam said, I heard your voice, but I hid. Why? Because I was naked. And God said, who told you? In other words, that's an information you got from somewhere. So everything you have today that constitutes your mindset was told you by somebody. The Bible says, Paul speaking, he says, there are as it were many voices in the earth and none of them are without effect. So we're going to be considering a lot of things. This is a very life transforming series. And I want you to pay your rapt attention. Hallelujah. There are many people who were taught nothing about love, nothing about relationship, nothing about sex, nothing about marriage, nothing about the dignity of keeping yourself. They just, our parents just hoped that we will find the truth. Hallelujah. That has resulted to bitter casualty in the lives of many people. But tonight the Lord brings light in the name of Jesus. Very important. And the church that is supposed to be an apostolic molding place, the potter's house, where men are built and fashioned, they've either shied away from it and are not ready to take responsibility in that area and teach and train the people. Because we have this demonic teaching that these kinds of teaching should not be taught in church. We have this religious spirit. Is that true? There are churches that would dare not talk about things like this. They feel all that there is in the life of someone is just teach people how to be built spiritually, how to pray in tongues, how to love God. But those people who enter a relationship, is that true? While they are praying, the guy sees the lady and likes her. Now he doesn't know how to manage what is happening to him. Or the guy wants to get married and all he has been taught to do is pray in tongues and see visions in the realm of the spirit and fall under the anointing and he does not know how to help himself. There are many anointed children in the body of Christ. We are only sophisticated when it comes to spiritual things but when it comes to the wisdom of living in our social environment many Christians are dull of understanding. Is that true? Many Christians live like fools in their social environment because we lack the wisdom. So you see an unbeliever who does not know God, doesn't respect the ways of God, but has a lot of wisdom when it comes to living in life. Wisdom for life. Many church folks lack this. Hallelujah. That's why you can see, for instance, unbelieving ladies. You never see a guy who just gets up like that and comes to them. But every time you want to see nonsense that happens is Christian girls. Any man that feels is emotionally troubled and he just wants to sleep around with any lady, they know how to find Christian girls. Hallelujah. And that's not because the Christian girls are bad. That's because we the preachers who should build and help them and teach them the truth are being irresponsible. All of us. Let me tell you something. Never pray for a crowd or for membership if you cannot teach and train the people. Are you listening to me? You have no business having people in your congregation if you are not ready to build them. Praise the Lord. And by the grace of God, it's our goal to build people holistically. So sometimes you see us teach on character. And it looks as if that is all there is in God. Then we teach about the principles of the spirit and the anointing. We teach on finance. We teach on purpose, the kingdom, destiny. It's important to touch on every aspect. So that we will have believers that are built and fashioned. If you believe that, say amen. amen. 
Right? So, um, Pastor Jake started with the basics of relationship. Please, let's run through it. I have a lot to cover tonight and I trust God for grace in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The first thing Pastor Jake started telling us, and everybody I want you to look up, inside and outside. Listen to me. Lift your hands, everybody. Say, I receive the spirit of meekness. Say one more time. I receive the spirit of meekness. I humble myself to hear, to understand, to receive, and to learn. Pride is a, is a killer. There are many people who, because of pride and arrogance, would not listen. Many people will believe they know what they are doing. Just listen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The first thing we need to define is the concept of love. Pastor Jake said that very extensively. I will run through it. One of the biggest challenges. Please let me have one guy and one lady here quickly. One here, one here. Anybody? Taiwo, quickly. Please appreciate them. Hallelujah. Now, listen. I want you to know that a man is not another woman. Every lady say that a man is not another woman. Ladies say a woman is not another man. Very important. The concept of love from the perspective of a man is far different from love. what love is for a woman. Are you following me now? The Bible says that when God brought man into being, all that was man's focus was purpose, destiny, are you following me now? And honor and authority. Man was conscious of his place, the honor, the authority, and everything God has given him. And so very quickly, I want to go very straight to the point. Every time you talk of love from a man's perspective, it means two things. Number one, honor. Number two, respect. Everybody say it. Love for a man means, number one, number two, no matter how you claim or think you are loving a man, if that concept of love does not translate to genuine honor or respect, you have not loved the man by his definition. Are you following me now? Very important. Ladies, understand this. When it comes to dealing with a man, men can kill because of respect. Are you listening to me? Men can kill you call somebody mister when you should call him chief. He can sue you. He can make sure you die for that statement. Is that true? Men can kill. You call somebody a pastor who you should call a reverend or a reverend who you should call a bishop or a brother who you should call an apostle or prophet or whatever. He can kill you for it. Sister, your beauty can fade at once like a leaf if you disrespect a brother. Are you listening to me? Oh, it's, it's not about ego. Ladies think it's ego. It's, it's our configuration by design. You will never get the best of a man if you do not understand what love means from the perspective of the man. So what does love mean, sisters? Honor and respect. What does it mean to honor? To hold in high esteem. To hold in high esteem. As we explore this, you will know the reason why some relationships will never work and some homes will never come together. It doesn't matter what kind of message is preached. It's not just about Satan and demons. Let's get the fundamental thing straight. So love means respect and honor. When you respect the guy, you respect his assignment, you respect his call, you respect his purpose. That's the circumference of what love means for a guy. Very important. It was on account, listen to me ladies, never forget this. Never forget this. Your primary ministry or a fixed ministry that God has put for every lady is to be a help meet for the man. So it doesn't matter what crusades you have to do in the future. It was the first mention of a woman was to be able to help the man in his assignment. Is that true? The Bible says, and God said, it is not good for the man I have created and given an assignment to be alone. It is not good. 
He said, and I will make a help meet, a help suitable. Ladies say, I'm a help suitable. Say it with confidence. I'm a help suitable. Because there are some of you that have gone through things in life that have abused this statement. You feel that you are not a help to somebody. We'll talk about that. You are a help suitable. And the Bible says, her desire shall be to her husband. Her desire shall be to her husband. So, when you love the man, you respect him, you honor him. Sarah called Abraham Lord. It's not a sign of worship. The word Lord means there, I esteem you. There is a beautiful position that God has given a man and a woman. And ladies, hear me, this is very important. Because there is a satanic movement trying to awaken women in quote to their rightful place and while that has worked well it has crossed the boundary are you following me now where ladies believe that they can be a man ladies believe they can be everything there are all kinds of foundations rising up orchestrated by demons that are bringing ladies into rebellion against their husbands and in the home and they think let me tell you something your respect for the man, especially when you get married, is not just a function of his ability to provide a loan. While that is true, if your respect for the man is tied just because of his ability to provide, you are violating scripture. Because agape is love without conditions. It is a position that God has put you. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? We have to rush. Now we come to the world of the ladies. Guys, listen very carefully. Love does not mean purpose for the lady. Get it very clearly. Visionless brothers, destiny shaking men of God, I announce to you that love for the lady has nothing to do with your destiny. Carry your destiny and your crusades and your one million salvation target and pack it away when you are talking about love from the sister's perspective. Sisters, if I'm talking... Can you say amen? Because yeah. some of you have been trying to tell the guy, you are so happy that he's seated near you now. You have said, oh God, let him say it. God has answered your prayer already. Hallelujah. You see, because of the fragile nature, the fragile nature of the lady and her emotional configuration did you know that the emotional configuration of a lady was designed on purpose are you following me now there are some of you ladies you are trying to make yourselves become men stop it two men cannot live in the same home hallelujah god designed this side of you to be able to complement the man some ladies are as hard as a rock as hard as a rock. It's not a gift to your husband. No, it's not a gift. No man that I know would cherish that. I'm not talking of, I mean, being strong and stable. I'm talking of being hard, insensitive, emotionless. You are a man, you are not a woman. A woman was not designed that way. A woman was designed to respond. A man was designed to absorb. A woman will respond. Are you learning something? Those outside, if you are following me, say amen. amen. Hallelujah. So, love for a lady means, number one, it means attention. All guys say attention. attention. Say it, attention. attention. In fact, let me say it the way I say it all the time. Maximum care and attention. Write it. Those who are guilty are laughing. Maximum what? It's like a graph. You know that song? Nothing, no place. You must gauge that tip. Ladies will stretch you until they see the highest of the attention. Listen, let me tell you something, guys. Attention for a lady is almost like purpose for you. When you do not give a lady attention. And now we are going to define what we mean. 
Because this word is falling on different soils. We need to redefine it. Hallelujah. It means care. Everybody say care. care. You must be caring. To be caring means to be sensitive to needs. To be concerned. It means time. Everybody say time. Very important. Time. It means affection. Affection. This is an emotional bonding. Not sex. Emotional bonding. For God's sake. Emotional bonding. If you want to be a priest, go to the seminary. If you want to get into a relationship, open your heart and allow that emotional dimension to find expression in every relationship. Praise the Lord. So, for the guy, what's the difference? Now, that does not mean, listen, please understand this. That does not mean these other qualities I mentioned in the lady are not appreciated in the life of the man. Are you following me now? But according to the order of priority. So, if, if you are going out with Taiwo now, and you meet and you say, Taiwo, do you know what the Lord is doing in our midst? How was that meeting? And Taiwo is looking at you. She's smiling because she's trying to respect you. But I assure you, she's not hearing what you are saying. Praise the Lord. Guaranteed, she's not hearing what you are saying. You ate her food, licked the plate. You didn't even say whether the food is nice or not. This lady took out time, bought these hills. How many of you have seen these hills? Brothers, don't tell lies. If you appreciate it, clap for her, Jare. And you just come with your anointing that has blinded your eyes. And all you see is souls, even on your wife who is already saved. Ladies, tell the brothers, change! Shout it again, change! Ah, you are in for a shock this night. We've not started, though. Hallelujah. So look up, please. We have a lot to cover. Respect and honor. There are many of you ladies, you are so rude, hostile, you wonder why no guy comes around you. Because they see themselves every time they see you. Disrespectful, you are rude, cruel, you don't talk to anybody with respect. That's how I am. No brother wants to mortgage his prophetic destiny for that kind of wife. Is that true, brothers? Let me tell you something. Don't you think prayers is covering the eyes of the brothers? They are watching. Oh yes, they are watching. The Bible says, be wise like serpents. The brothers are watching. They are watching you as you are doing this this manly thing you are doing. No respect. You are just shouting at the guy. And somebody that has been trusting God just says, Lord, thank you for answering my prayers. I've, I've received from you. Every man is looking for a woman who will compliment him. Ladies, I want to give you a big shocker right now. There's no man that I know who is looking for a preacher. Everybody is looking for a woman who can be a wife to him. He's already a preacher. He doesn't need another one. Ladies have this funny thing that they, you feel the more you are entering the anointing, the more attractive you are becoming for the guy. It's such a big mistake. The guy is looking at his children. He already knows he's busy. You are busy just like him. The guy is looking at who can help, who can cook at home. You're already going for five crusades in a week. He will marry you. He doesn't want to die for nothing. Is someone hearing what I'm saying? That's why we have a welfare department to help us. We can fast happily. Why? There is a consolation. Imagine if all we have is prayer band. We're in trouble as the ministers. Hallelujah. Please appreciate both of them. God bless you. 
So we have to get it clear. Love is very, very important. When the concept of love is not defined from the kingdom perspective, there is going to be chaos and anarchy. Hallelujah. Have you seen a lady look at a guy? Guys, when the lady comes to you and says you are selfish, ah, me, selfish, I'm providing money, I'm paying the children's school fees, hallelujah, and the lady is saying you are selfish, and you are now wondering, is it that I'm not purpose driven, am I not praying enough, what she's saying is, you are not defining love from my perspective, are you following me now? Very important. Now before we start, Pastor Jake spoke about it here, but let me define certain things. The qualities that a guy must have before you think of entering a relationship and a lady. We have to talk about that quickly. There are qualities. Listen. Please look up. If these qualities are not in you, and you have been dreaming of asking a lady out in this place. You better wake up from that dream. Wake up in Jesus name. The Bible says arise. Doubt that sleepest. And let Christ give you light. So wake up tonight and listen. There are many brothers that think because you are macho. And broad chested. And tall, dark and handsome. It just means that every lady is standing desperate like a leaf. Better repent of your pride and listen to these qualities that we have to explain. Is anybody following me tonight? I already told you to laugh from the beginning. Look up, please. The Bible says for us to have no business with the unfruitful work of darkness. Before you even consider a relationship or marriage with anybody, let me tell you something. That person must be genuinely born again. Write it. This is not part of the quality. This is what even qualifies you to begin to look at other qualities. Must be born again. We live in a generation where ladies are becoming the Holy Spirit. Who have the exclusive ability to change any Romeo they like. Let me tell you something. Come out of what you watched in that Nigerian film. Don't get up and go and yoke. See, look up. Every lady, every true godly lady must submit herself to the man. The only choice you have is to choose the kind of head you submit to. Hallelujah. Don't choose any kind of head that will come and kill you. He must be born again. What does it mean to be born again? To submit to the governing authority of Christ. The governing authority of the word. A man that does not submit to the word of God can kill you. There is nothing to give him boundaries. There is nothing to define the terms of his relationship or marriage with you. There is nothing to convict him. You can't afford to go out with a man who is not born again. There are many of us, it's those that are not born again that you like. You say they are nicer than the brothers. But they will take you to hell. And you won't see any of the brothers in hell. We are all going to heaven. Hallelujah. Say he must be born again. Guys say she must be born again. Every lady. That threw every great man in the Bible and in history. Were nice and beautiful ladies. Most of them did not have respect for the things of God. Hallelujah. If you marry a lady that is not born again and is not serious with God, some of you say, uh uh, but the guy is nice. Say that day, Pastor Jake even saw him. Didn't he greet you, sir? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Listen, I'm answering a lot of questions here. Do not confuse morality with the presence of the Holy Spirit in a man. Are you listening to me? Willpower can only take you so far. You do not know the power of 
I mean, Satan and demons outside of the word of God. When you know that, you will know that morality is not enough. See, let me tell you something. You can get a course you don't like for five years. You can struggle it, wrestle it, complain about it and just finish. But when you get married, after 40 years, that man will change and wreck your life. And you will wish you were dead. Some of you, that's the case in your families. Now you have an opportunity to choose. Hallelujah. So are you ready now? Now there are certain qualities that a Christian brother should have. We're not talking about marriage yet. We're talking about relationships now. So every brother, every Christian brother or Christian sister that desires a godly relationship, we expect you to be building yourselves or to have built yourselves in this area. Hallelujah. Now, ladies, look up. I know that if I'm to call two or three ladies now, we don't have the time and ask you, what kind of man do you want? You first smile and say, hey. Hallelujah. You just carry your handbag. It's already written there. Because you've been praying about it. You bring out your hundred point agenda list. The guy must have the ability to carve his eyebrows. He must understand about nail filing and the rest. We don't want a brother with oil on his face as if they fried egg on the face. He must be posh and clean. Oh, you think we don't know? <laughs> Hallelujah. I like a brother that will do this, do that, do that. You want a brother that is exposed. Don't want anybody who will be disgracing you in the public. Praise God. You go to a restaurant before they see anything. They've not even prayed. They have started disgracing you. He thinks he's in his room. Now you are embarrassed. Ladies have a lot of things. But let me tell you tonight. Look up please. All those things will not work. Period. Did you hear me? All those things will what? Because even you, you are not prepared for that kind of man. The only man that fits all those qualities you are writing is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is not looking for a wife. But he has made us his ambassadors. Are you listening to me? You cannot say, oh, this guy must be. There are ladies who are so meticulous. Say, if I look at his skin, it must be fresh and this. Let me not see any funny thing. It must be without blemish. No, the lamb that will be slain. Listen, it's not wrong. It's just childish. <laughs> you wrote it when you were in secondary school. Now you came to the university. Tear it. You are growing. That's, that's just the remedy. What you need is not deliverance. It's just growth. The Bible says, when I was a child, you were writing that when you were trying to keep yourself busy to write SSE. This is almost 10 years now. Tear that thing. Grow up. Face a real world like a woman and a man. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There are certain virtues, Pastor Jakes called them, and I'll write it, cardinal virtues. That means there are some virtues that eventually they will develop themselves. Listen, ladies, look at me. If you are looking for a perfect man, you have no ministry in the life of that man. Are you listening to me? The purpose of the lady is to complete the man. To help his inadequacy. So if you are looking for a man who is already perfect, you don't have a ministry in the life of that man. Praise the Lord. Mm. Are you getting blessed? Alright ladies, what qualities should you look for in, in the guy? And guys, these are the qualities you should be building yourself in. Number one, honesty and sincerity. Quality number one. Any guy coming around your life who is not honest and sincere, pack your load and run. Don't pray about it. I'm already telling you the answer. Run. 
honesty and sincerity. The brother must be honest. Must be sincere. You can't be at the back of Ribadu. That, you know that part. That dark part. You are just sitting there and they just call and say, Ah, maybe your wife or your girlfriend or whatever calls you and say, Ah, I've, I've arrived Lagos, Kai. I just got there right now. And she says, are you serious? Well, how was the journey? She says, I'll call you later. I'm even too tired. She says, I understand. Immediately you drop. You just lie to the girl that is a distance call. It's your relative from UK that is calling you. No sincerity. Or you're calling one lady and the lady just comes and you pick up the call. You say, ah, you safe. As, as the money entered, that's not enter. Hurry up now. Don't waste my time. I, I have a beautiful girl here to buy something for her. Why are you wasting my time? And you are lying. Sisters, are the brothers not like that? Brothers, don't feel bad. You know me. I always balance the equation. <laughs> Hallelujah. A dishonest brother will produce a dishonest husband, a dishonest father, a dishonest leader, and will kill you. Are you listening to me? Deal ruthlessly with dishonesty. It's better for the brother to say, Mio, I'm trusting God. God has not helped me yet. This shoe you are seeing is my only one. This trouser is the only one. This shirt is the only one. But the spirit of faith is in me. You are seeing me pray in every koinonia. I'm sweating in your presence. You are seeing that we are flogging out this thing. The door will open one day. Is that correct? Many of you ladies, you like guys lying to you. You have itchy ears. You like it so. The guy just comes to you and he's laughing and he just says, Hi, how are you? And this is not how he speaks. So just because you came. And the guy comes and he's bouncing and he likes you. And he says, ah, sweetheart, I was wondering. Um, he said, let me talk to this guy. I need to be at the airport tomorrow. What's your tomorrow like? I'm going to take the first flight tomorrow. I have to be back. There's something my, my dad sent a consignment. And can you imagine? This is boys. You know, they are taking my humility for granted. And the lady's melting. Hey. You know it's a lie. Your roommates are watching from their window. You know it's a lie. You like it so. You go back and you carry the lie and you are telling your roommates. You are, you are saying it as if you don't believe him. But you are saying it to increase your reputation. You are claiming that you don't like it. But you are telling everybody, shut up if you don't like it. Why are you telling everybody? Say, can you imagine? That guy came and met me and he was talking about one airport in me. He wants to play with me. Sister B, can you imagine? that guy? And you are claiming that you are not enjoying what he's saying. <laughs> Honesty. Number two. The guy must be teachable. Lady say teachability. Any brother that is not teachable is going to drown you. You will follow him together and enter an ocean of trouble and he will drown you. And brothers, this is where we have to be very careful. Because you see, we guys are egotistic in nature. Are you following me now? It's very difficult. There are some brothers here. God must help you tonight. Your deliverance has started. From your culture, women don't talk to men. From your culture, women don't advise men. Is that true? Some of you are from royal families. And you are taking your village everywhere you go. Even inside your relationship. So you are with the lady and she's trying to advise you. And she's saying, um, sweetheart, have you considered this? way?" said, look, let this be the last time. Even the Bible said, wives, submit. Submit means shut up. Don't try me, oh. You are entering the fire and the lady is saying, honey, look at this. We are entering fire. Say, which fire? Guys, fire is burning you. I say, which fire? Where is the fire? And later you carry the girl and put together in the fire. And it's burning two of you. Later you say, ah, it's true. This thing looks like fire. When it has burnt you and it's almost killing you. Brothers, be teachable. It's not a sign of weakness. 
it's a sign of great strength these ladies may look like they don't know anything but i tell you something if you are humble and you can listen you will learn a lot of things any brother that is not teachable and arrogant and just believes you are the alpha and omega of that relationship the lady should shut up even if she's speaking nonsense one day she'll say something that is sensible you must listen many husbands have entered into trouble many husbands have done different things that that one plot of land that somebody came to swindle you land of 10 million you sold it for 2 million your wife was telling you be careful be careful say be careful for what all these women they are too emotional there are many of you if you will be teachable you know what teachability is teachability is your willingness to learn and your willingness to accept when you are wrong. That's why we taught ourselves in our character building series on four words. What's the first one? Can you remember everybody? What's the first one? Please. You must say please. What's the second one? I'm sorry. Apologize when you are wrong. Number three. Thank you. You must tell people if they do good for you 20 times, say thank you 20 times. What's the last one? God bless you. You must bless people. So you must be teachable. Let's hurry up. Number three. Brothers, you must be visionary and responsible. There are many guys, you have not finished managing yourself. Don't add a woman into it. There are many guys, you, you have not led yourself. You don't have self-management. You are careless. You are indisciplined. Now you want to bring another lady and add her into your predicament. You must be visionary. When you hold a lady and say, we are going out, where are you going to? I always give this example. How many of you have climbed bike? And the bike man told you, you were asking him, do you know this place? Do you know CGC? Before he finished, he said, yes. Later, he starts going with you. He just passes somewhere. He said, oh, God, this is not the road. He said, oh, sorry, I forgot. Then he turns back. Later, he comes and just passes and is heading towards Rema. And you say, Oga, stop. Do you know where we are going? He say, I thought you knew the place. That's how many guys are. You just bring the bike and hit the seat and tell the lady, oh yeah, climb. The lady, I used to say, climb. Is it not me? Once they climb from gear one, you go to the last one. You are just speeding. The lady says, sorry, you, where are we going? He say, leave me. Are we not, have we arrived there? Be patient. After 10 years, you have not defined where you are going never go out with any guy you don't know where he's taking you to you better know where you are going no don't lead yourself like a sheep to the slaughter hallelujah hallelujah very important he must be responsible psychologically <laughs> a guy who is always crying like a baby does not need relationship he needs help and growth Somebody just say, Kai, your hair is looking bushy. He's crying. It's the lady that says, come. <laughs> he says, see, things happen like that. The guy says, why is everybody doing to me? You are embarrassing the lady. They'll say, Abba, sister, is it that there was no guy? Which baby did you go and carry like this? You enter a program. There's a seat here. They say, sorry, stand up for somebody else. The guy is already crying. The lady now stands up to hold him. I say, don't cry. You are not ready for a relationship, my brother. Please 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 focus on your finances or something else your spiritual life because let me tell you something there are pressures you are going to absorb in your life hallelujah as a leader you don't let people see your tears anyhow it will kill their spirits hallelujah every lady needs a man that she can be secured around a man that can protect her was told of a story that armed robbers came somewhere. Open this door now. Bow, bow, bow. The man just tapped the wife and said, stand up. No, he, he was pretending like he was sleeping. She just said, honey, honey, as if he was sleeping. Honey, you must wake up. Oh. Are you hearing what is happening? He said, I'm hearing now. Why would you just keep quiet? The guy was sweating and shaking. True life story. The woman got up and started praying in tongues around her house. 
they were shouting if you let us open this door by ourselves this and that and that do you know that eventually when the armed robbers left and the woman came she found the man dead yeah what killed him so who is protecting who there are many of you you like women but you are very fearful you don't have courage you are not emotionally balanced please don't think of getting into a relationship that you'll be crying all the time as if you are going to just one you know how people go to just one and they cry at a point the lady is feeling oh god did you bring me to protect this what did you bring me to do in his life you are not a man hallelujah so that, that's it for the guys cardinal virtues ladies brothers if you love your destiny and where god is taking you make sure you look at this <laughs> number one the ladies must be submissive every lady says submission look up please submission is not weakness submission is the ability to bring your strength under control are you following me now what is submission the ability to bring your strength under control you see this from many of our mothers the man can be shouting saying something and and our mothers are not wrong but they will just keep quiet you will be wondering and say, if I were my mother, eh? How about we enter the same trouser? Say, my mother, my father is always doing with her. She's even doing like Musev. Eh? All these village with me. How about no man can try that? You better shut up. Oh. You better shut up. Because your mother was once a young CC like you and was bouncing like that. Ask her why she's calm now. Hallelujah. Many ladies have this funny. There are many things that we are doing that we don't know is childishness. This night you will see that it's just sheer childishness. Hallelujah. Submission. Very important. Bringing your strength under control. Number two. Can you imagine? I'm, I'm just summarizing what Pastor Jakes has already preached. So we have to run. Number two, teachability. Ladies, you must also be teachable. There are some ladies, Gamaliel. You always teach everybody. Gamaliel was the person who taught Paul. Some of you are Gamaliel. You sit in the midst of brothers. Do you know that? The brother comes to talk to you. Yeah, just like a Proverbs this and that said. This and that. And you think you are impressing him. The guy just gets up. Just tells his friend, Babe, I'm to me now. Let's just go somewhere. That's not it. It's not the way forward. This is nonsense. As you are talking. The lady is just saying, this is not a wife, this is a man. You are not teachable. There are some of you, no man can sit you down and talk to you. No man. You do something, so even if he's a pastor, you do something, Pastor Jack said, all right, two of you come to see me. He said, me, see you. Nobody brought me into this world, though. Even my father doesn't, you see that? So who do you want to come and marry you? Who do you want? Be fair. Who do you want to come and marry this kind of trouble? teachability number three sisters you must be physically attractive the brothers are not just spirits they dwell in bodies they have eyes my friend Ejimi says love is blind marriage will open your eyes sisters look up brothers look up too my brother you better don't deceive yourself if you are going far ah huh? And you don't want to run it now when i talk of beauty beauty is a relative statement but you must don't carry a lady that you will not be proud of huh you just see somebody says my younger is just my younger sister or you just look and say oh, is one lady that is disturbing me or me i'm tired i don't know what to do you kill the lady if you behave to a lady like that you don't deserve her Get out of her life and let the person who deserves her come in. Are you following me? Very important. Don't find yourself. You must be proud of the lady. Ladies, be physically attractive. That does not mean be pornographic or nude. You are a Christian. It means be nice. You are young. 
Don't celebrate your 50th birthday when you are 22. Be patient. The time will come. And all the brothers say, Amen. Amen. It doesn't mean you must have all the money. Look, we are watching. Brothers are happy. When they see a nice sister, you are, you, are, you are taking care of yourself. How much is powder? The type we use, how much is it? The type you use is 10,000. That's too expensive. Get the normal. Who will know? Who will know? It's only among yourself, ladies, that you know. Will we know? See, a lady just comes, there's, there's fats on your face oily face you are just moving walking anyhow you are just walking any you can't even compose yourself they are sharing food join the line you want to collect you are doing all these kind of attitudes the brothers are watching you need to tell yourself myself behave behave the bible says you are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses behave Hallelujah. You must be physically attractive. If you have one shirt, iron it. Don't carry a shirt that is twice your size. Yes, your mother gave it to you. Adero tell us. Reduce it. Abba. Must everybody know it was a gift? You just carry needle and fold it and fold it and clip it. Can they reduce it? The brothers are not idiots. Why we are praying in tongues? Shada da 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 da. <laughs> yeah. Please, brothers, look for what looks like your future. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can I come to the brothers now? Yeah. Oh, I must come. You know me. Hallelujah. You see, Archbishop Benson Idahosa said, don't criticize anybody until you have done twice what the person has done once. Hallelujah. Brothers, if you want that kind of glamorous lady, you must start working on yourself as up. Are you following me now? There are many brothers, you are bushy, you don't comb your hair, the dust is dry season, but you still see at the back of your shoe, mud of rainy season. You are, no, I will talk. You must be physically attractive. You wear one, one singlet for two months. It's easy to wear something on top. Who will know? You can't buy perfume of 500 naira. You just come, you are sweating. They say, hug your neighbor. Before they do anything, you want to hug. How much is sure? At least that's the basic one. Listen, you are a leader. You don't bob your hair. This side is more than this side. It's not like maybe it's a style. It's just disorganization of your hair. Because for a long time, you can't even go to the barbing salon and say, just have it, let it be nice. You finish bathing, even oil, you just, you are trying to comb it. You don't know whether it's back or front. You throw the comb away and get up. Just come for koinonia and you just come and you are smiling. You think it's everybody that is smiling with you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Your, your clothes are always rumpled. Always, always. Always rumple. Hmm? Go and wear one kind of thing and carry one one kind of tie. You will stop here. You will now wear it and you are coming and you are just eyeing the sister. She's not looking at you. I assure you. I assure you. I assure you she's not looking at you. Hallelujah. Help us, Holy Spirit. We have to run. You must be physically attractive. Both parties. Be smart. 
We are not saying go and borrow everybody's clothes to come for koinonia with. Uh -uh. If you have been doing it, stop. It's not necessary. God has blessed you. God has blessed you. Hallelujah. You are borrowing your roommate's shoe every week. The day your roommate says it's coming for miracle service too. On that day, you wear your palms and sit outside. Even if you spams you have, wear it honorably. Polish it. Can I tell you something, brothers? I discovered something with ladies. They are not as materialistic as we think. I tell you, there are some ladies that love God and they are willing to start and go with you only if you will be honest. Sisters, is that true? It's not all of you that should say yes because some of you are very materialistic. I'm coming to you. So this was a summary of what Jake shared. Hallelujah. Very important. So how many of us have been blessed by those qualities? How many of us know that there are some of them we need to walk in ourselves? Don't lie now. Lift your hands. Don't pretend. I appreciate your honesty. This is why we are here. And God is helping us. Do you know why you need to work on these qualities? It doesn't mean you have to be perfect. But make sure there are honest efforts. Are you following me now? So that you can be a blessing to one another. Everybody say, I'm not a curse. I'm a blessing. Say one more time, I'm not a curse. I'm a blessing. Hallelujah. Alright, so we're going to talk quickly about entering into a relationship now. The process. The process of entering into a relationship. Again, let me have one lady and one guy. Please, can we have them quickly? Quickly, we have to. One lady, Taiwo, please come again. Aaron, God bless you. One lady and one guy. Hallelujah. Please look up. There is no crime. Everybody look up, please. There is no crime, brother, in seeing a sister that you love and you find yourself affectionate about. It does not make you unspiritual. Emoji, hello. <laughs> Can you hear me? There is no crime. <laughs> there is no crime. Hallelujah. When you find out as a brother, a good Christian brother, sharing the word in a, in a, in a meeting, like look at Koinonia, inside people are inside, outside. Now you, are, you have been seeing this sister, she's in the choir. Her name is Taiwo. Hallelujah. Always ministering. Something is moving. Something is changing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please listen. I have to rush. We have to be out of here. Now, listen, brothers. When you want to end, let me look at. Look at me. Do you know why this thing keeps backfiring for some brothers? Let me tell you one of the reasons. The Bible says the labor of the fool will weary him. Not because there is no road. He doesn't know the road to the city. The reason why many of you, it's not necessary because you are not nice. You don't know how to do this thing. You will not seek advice. You will not seek counsel. You just see a lady like this after Koinonia. Worship team. They are holding their hands to pray. You can't even wait. Let them finish the prayer. You've got to stand close. You are just moving around. You can't wait. They say, hug 20 people. You didn't hug anybody. You are just gallivanting around the worship team square here. As soon as they finish, just say, sister, please, can I talk to you? Now, the lady said, well, for the benefit of doubt, we just finished fellowship. Say, I've been watching you. I have a policeman. You have been watching her. What else? I've been watching you. And uh, the other day, I was, I was talking with my friend just says, please, please, I know where you are going please, I beg you, just save yourself any stress, it won't work you just get up and go to your room, say this coin on your lady self, now I'll... let me just, Kukuma be sitting outside you look, you, you will pray these are people that are seeing us pray they know I'm a man of God, yet you won't say yes hallelujah listen Listen. Everybody say friendship. friendship. Say it, friendship. friendship. This is the first step to entering a relationship. 
You can't come and meet a perfect stranger because of your unbelieving roommates did it. He just saw one, one, one lady who just came in 100 level in her innocence. Her mother told her, when you go here, don't do Now the guy just came to threaten her. And the lady, out of fear, she just said, oh yeah, yes. Because she doesn't know what to have. You too, you were inspired by that testimony. You now got up and met a Christian sister who has been hearing the word. You just come and meet her. Say, I want to marry you. Pray about it. What is wrong with you? Eh, your father did it. So what? Change. See, listen. If your wife is your best friend, that naturally tells you that the probability of finding her among your friends is very high. Correct? The best friend is the best among friends. Is that true? Some of you, you don't have friends. This is what makes the sister know that you are ready to enter a relationship. You don't work with anybody. You don't greet anybody. In Suddenly, ah, after miracle service, you have said Romeo around worship team. You, you don't greet anybody. You are not in any group. After prayer, band finishes praying, you just turn. You are, you, you are always alone. You are talking alone as if you are out of your mind. When the sister starts seeing you, she's even afraid. She doesn't know whether you are fine or not. Something wrong with this brother? Does he need counseling? You must be friendly. Are you listening to me? Listen. Guys, let me give you a big secret. If you can make a lady laugh genuinely and sincerely you have taken some good steps into that journey i give you a tip that will work for you hallelujah don't carry your boring boring life your roommates should test run whether you are sociable or not they are always running away from you ah flog it in your room first before you go and disgrace yourself to one lady You are in love. You are pretending like you are not in love. You are just boning your face and coming to the girl. You say, can I see you? The girl say, I'm busy. Come now, yourself. <laughs> Be friends. One of the best ways of being friends is join a department. Join a department. One of the benefits of a department is that it will help your social life. Is that true? The worship team are so so if you see them you'll be amazed they love one another some of them were not like that when they started is that true the ushers ushers are you there they love themselves who do you love who loves you you don't know when you enter when see service in the house of god is a big helper to take you out of inferiority and complex they'll tell you lead prayer now you lead prayer and when you lead prayer, ah, after the prayer meeting, Tyro says, wow, that was nice. So pure sisterly love, no strings attached. You too, you are happy. You didn't know how to do it. Now you can watch Aaron do it. You are, you are learning. Who will know that you don't know? Tomorrow now you come, they say, oh, one another. You are making progress. Are you making progress? It's not like you are... You join the department with the intention to marry the lady. But you are becoming sociable. It's giving them an opportunity to see your sincere heart. Is that true? One day the lady comes late. You stand up for her. Ah, ah. She says, wow, that was so kind. You are learning. You are reducing your journey. You don't know. Some of you come from nowhere. You see people who have been functioning. They are taking their time. You think you have the spirit of... You just run from nowhere. They don't know you. You have no history. You just came for koinonia twice. You think you want a wife. You just come and carry anybody. We won't give you our ladies like that. Come and sit down. Share the word of God. We want to be sure of the kinds of things our ladies... Uh, you, they can't be praying in tongues. You come with your Babylon from wherever. Because you did talking for two weeks. You think it's enough to carry them. No, sir. They are not that cheap. <laughs> Hallelujah. Entering into a relationship... Take time to build friendship. See, not friendship for the purpose of relationship. Be a free person. Be happy with people. Are you listening to me? And ladies, there are some of you, you are not helping yourself. Make sure when brother smile and greet you, you just say he likes me. Habba! You are in a church. What kind of insecurity is that? 
a brother smiles at you, he just hugs you. You go back and say, I've been watching. It's a lie. It's a lie. Please. This guy is pressing into God. It's a lie. Don't blackmail him. He loves God. You just see a brother like you and the next thing you start becoming edgy and funny. Everybody say friendship. So, Aaron begins to be friends. Maybe from department or something. He may be in the same department. He may be in the different department. You know, you are just serving in the house of God genuinely. It gives room for the sincerity of your heart to be tested. Are you listening to me? You are consistent in the body of Christ. At least the lady sees you. You are a face that they know around. She knows what you are hearing. You know what she's hearing. Is, is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Very important. Never go out with a guy who you don't know who is feeding him and you don't know what is entering his head. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The second thing is seek counsel. Seek counsel. Many people think this is an act of immaturity. Many of you do not know. Look at me, brothers. Let me give you a secret. If you don't respect us, these ladies respect us. Are you listening to me? By the time you start meandering around them, they will call us. They will say, sorry, yo, this guy has been roaming around not to be presumptuous. And you, you think you are playing smartness. Every time you see us, you will claim as if the lady is this and that, while the lady has already told us. And you'll be disgracing yourself. Hallelujah. Very important. Seek counsel. There is nothing wrong. We are not demons. You can ask Pastor Jake. There are times that he comes to tell me, ah, so so and so so person. This guy likes this person. You can even see me jumping. I'm saying, yeah. Our people are entering good relationships. There are some relationships when we hear you have entered, we start crying. We start crying. You don't know the guy, but we, we know him. Hallelujah. Please seek counsel. Seek counsel. Don't seek counsel from unbelievers. Who tell you just try, oh. There is an age where guys will be coming, oh. You will get to an age nobody will come, oh. Just try. Uh-uh. Hallelujah. When you are entering into a relationship, friendship, friendship. Now that does not mean you cannot see. I know of stories of perfect strangers they, they call it what they call it love at first sight i don't know what probability of it works in nigeria in nigeria hallelujah praise the lord seek counsel and then bless you sir the next step is listen go to god and I, I want to talk a bit here about the concept of the will of God. Look up, please. As a brother, you love God. You are not a prophet. You are not an apostle. You are just a sincere believer who loves God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And now you see Matilda. You've been looking at her and truly, oh, genuine love, not lost. If you find out that what is wrong with you is loss, come for counseling, not relationship. Counseling. We won't condemn you, but we'll help you. Genuine love. Sincere love. Now you are looking at Matilda. Ah, ah. You've sought counsel. You go to God in prayer. Listen, listen. Now I want to correct a very erroneous concept about what people call hearing God. How many of you have heard what they call vision, seeing vision? That has put a lot of brothers under pressure. Please and please. The vision in Joel 2 was not women. Is that clear? Don't you brothers please. I deliver you from any heart attack you want to give yourself. To force yourself to dream dreams and see visions. There is nothing wrong. The Bible says God is at work in us both to will. Hallelujah. I love God. My heart is sincere. Are you following me now? Now Aaron sees Matilda. And you just say, oh, did you have a vision? It has made a lot of brothers to come with stories about their concept of the will of God. Because they know that if they, that's the gate pass into your life. So they, they've tried and tried. They just say, oh yeah, talk. God told me, please open the gate for me to enter. Be careful. 
God shows people visions. You don't see vision for any area of your life. When it comes to relationship, you suddenly become a prophet. Who sent you? Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? The, don't be embarrassed. Ah, ah, the other day, you saw Rose. And ah, when you saw Rose, even you, you wouldn't lie. You were praying. The prayer point just disappeared. You cannot even know what I was saying again. And it was sincere. Ah, you try to say myself, behave, please. I'm in the presence of God. You were trying to look at Pastor Jake. You were seeing Rose again. Ah, something is happening. Don't feel embarrassed. Are you hearing me, brothers? Don't feel embarrassed. The only thing is check it. Don't be foolish. Some of you, if you see that to you, that's God said. Uh uh. That's not God said. Because there are some brothers that what is happening to you is just infatuation. Ah, you saw this lady's hair. And wow, you are smiling. One day you see her coming out of Ribadu in the morning. She has not taken her bath. You just hear her and say, ah, is that the girl I saw? Ah, I've changed my mind though. And you want to marry her. She will be pregnant though. Don't forget. Help us, Holy Spirit. Is somebody getting blessed tonight? If God shows you a vision, if you are sitting and you just see Abigail, C21. Is that how many now, Ribadu? Ribadu is your wife. You just say, yes, Lord. Abigail, where are you? Better come. Don't stop my destiny. You don't do that. The, listen, the Bible says, and Mary kept these things to herself. And you come, you can come to Pastor Jakes and say, sir, this is what I saw about this guy. Because I saw this about this guy. I saw this guy ab about the lady. They can be able to help you. Are you listening to me? Don't just take initiative on the strength of your vision alone. Your vision can mislead you. The Bible says we see in part. And so we what? prophesy in part are you getting blessed please listen you love god you are praying for a life partner you are saying oh god please bring a lady into my life who will love you who will fear you who we can stand together and accomplish the purposes of god for our lives hallelujah suddenly you come for miracle service you just see natina And now you, you cannot even describe what is happening to you. Mama. <laughs> now Mama is wondering, ah, ah, Aaron, what is happening? I saw this lady just once and I, many of you feel embarrassed. You even cast it. Ah, ah, it may not be demonic. Are you listening to me? Try to establish good friendship with the person. And when you feel you've received advice and the time is ripe, listen. That takes me to the next step. Brothers have courage. Ladies don't kill. I think sisters, we need to tell the brothers this. Say brothers. brothers. We, don't we don't kill. Speak. Speak. Say one more time. Brothers. brothers. Don't look at yourselves. Look at the brother. Brothers. brothers. We, don't we don't kill. Speak. The brother says, sisters, I'm not afraid. Listen. There are some of you that kick any guy that comes. Listen, look at me. Look at me. Koinonia, hear me inside and outside. Never, please, let me start with the sisters. Never see a brother, no matter how much you esteem him, that he comes to you and then you try to just do anyhow with him and say, hey, you don't know that shoe has size. You got up. Forget. Don't let Koinonia fool you. I'm not your mate. Oh. Don't be stupid. If not because of Koinonia that is the house of God. You, you, you cannot see your type. You come and stand. Don't do that. Don't do that. The brother you are laughing at today. Wait and see the promises of God in his life. By the time what he's speaking comes to pass. You will be amazed. Are you following me now? I was told a humorous story that there was a time Bishop Oedeko asked a part. I was told, I don't know if it's true. Please, please, oh, I had it too. 
if it's not true, accept it as fiction. There was a man of God. <laughs> and the man of God said he asked one lady and she said no. He kept quiet. Then it was, there was nothing, just the promises of God. The treasure in earthen vessels locked up inside. Later on, he asked his current wife and she said yes. Some years later on, they were in a program and he saw the former lady. Now she was also married. And he told his wife, he said, see, I asked this woman. And she said no. The woman walked to her and said, thank you for telling my husband no. You think that woman will sleep? Hi! The woman will say, God, no. This is how my destiny passed me by. Many of you want ready-made. You don't want to pay the price and build. Hallelujah. When a brother wants to talk to you, please give him listening ears. Especially when he comes with a heart of sincerity and responsibility. Even if you are not interested in the relationship, present yourself in a way and manner that will not discourage him. There are some brothers, when they ask one sister since 2010, they've not asked another one again. One day you wanted to ask the girl, she just, she was just, you were going here, she just came out, you just turned as if you want to clean a chair. No courage, your heart is failing you. Everybody say, take courage. take courage. Sisters, help our brothers. It's not easy to come and stand before a lady and start rapping and talking stories. Hallelujah. It's not easy. It takes a lot of courage. Brothers, is that true? Yeah. Especially when you start giving one kind of face. As if you don't like it. You finish praying in your room and say, God, change my story. Give the brother a chance. Give him a chance, please. Hallelujah. Is that true? There are many brothers here that are sitting. They want to enter a relationship. But ladies, you are hostile. You are rude. You leave an impression in the heart of the brother that will injure him. It's not fair. Is that true? And then brothers, take it easy. I know that no means wait for a guy. So if the lady tells you no, just don't say me, I don't take no for, I would, ha, 30 missed calls between Koinonia and her room. 30 missed calls. 5 text messages. 500 Naira recharge card. You have called all her friends. Take it easy, brother. Haba. Take it, let her think. Say, I can't sleep. Uh-uh. You better check whether it's lost or love. Whatever is pursuing you, run to court. Run to court and go and flog it out with destiny. Don't be a pest around the lady like that. You are going for a lecture, you just say, ah. In fact, you know, I was about to call you. That's how you follow her. She's in the restaurant. You go there. Money that you wanted to go to Jordan Bookstore with, you paid for her food. Now you have not eaten. You are hungry. You've not done your assignment. You are failing. You are emanciating. You are dying. What is wrong with you? <laughs> your roommate say, what is wrong? He say, love. <laughs> it's not love. Hallelujah. Are you learning something, please? Praise the Lord. Very important. Make sure you are convicted. There are some brothers here. Please look up and I must warn you. Everybody, say double dating is wrong. Say one more time, double dating is wrong. There are guys that have ladies in every faculty. Every faculty you have a representative. And they don't know. It's not good. You are, you are a Christian. I hope you know that we don't believe in dating. Are you listening to me? In the kingdom, there is nothing called dating. Correct? You know what dating is, ladies? Let me explain to you so that you hate it very well. Dating is that you parade many ladies. The bachelor. Ask some of them out. Sleep with some of them. Do all you can do and then start editing them one by one. One by one. One by one until you find the one that is suitable with you. You've slept with them. You've taken them out. Which lady? Do you know that every lady you see is somebody else's wife? You don't treat ladies like that. Is somebody learning something? Double dating is very wrong. Very, very wrong. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
So brothers, get close to the lady, develop courage and talk. Sisters, be open. Don't conclude on a guy and just say, this is not my kind of guy. What do you know about all your destiny? Somebody you are seeing today that you say may not be your kind of guy, may be the greatest blessing in your life. Is that true? Hallelujah. Let's rush. We have to pray. Now, let's assume you successfully get into the relationship. Say amen. amen. So you have flogged out issues and you are now in the relationship. What do you do? Please write. These are things that you must observe while during the relationship. Number one, practice communication. Practice what? Communication. One of the number one killer of marriages and relationship is no communication. Talk. No matter how bad issues are, talk. Talk. How many of you know that a quiet person can be more dangerous than a noisemaker? Because if somebody is quiet, you don't know what the person has in his heart or her heart. Talk. Talk. Hallelujah. See, because no matter how anointed you are, listen, when you get into a relationship, are you following me? Patience, come. When you get into a relationship, now let's assume Abel is going out with patience. Abel, stand up. Assuming, come now, hurry up. Hold our hands. Let's save time, please. Hold our hands. Smile, you too now. Smile. <laughs> All right, come. Now, they are in a relationship. Please, everybody listen. Do you know, every time people come to me for counseling and prayers for relationship, I tell them, Whenever you enter a relationship, please listen. See yourself as two farmers. Are you following me now? Two farmers holding a hoe together. And you are going to the farm to go and plow the land. Ready-made relationship does not exist. Write it. Everybody has weaknesses and strengths. When you say you love somebody next time, you are saying you love a sum total of their liabilities and weaknesses. Many of you want a perfect man. You want a perfect woman. You will never find it because you are not perfect yourself. Are you listening to me? Now, Ebe, where are you from? You are from Kogi. Where are you from? Now, this is Kogi, this is Benway. Two separate cultures, is that true? Now, they love God. They all come for koinonia, for instance. For instance, for instance, except otherwise, for instance. Hallelujah. She has her mindset that came from culture. He has his mindset that came from culture. Do you know that there will be frictions? Are you following me now? Those frictions are not a sign that the devil is eating you people up. They are just a sign that you are human beings. Are you listening to me? What is the remedy? Communication. Two of you sit down now. Find somewhere and sit down. Come. I'm the shift for them. Sit down now. We are acting with you. Ooh. Communication. Communication. Talk about it. Hallelujah. The guy does not eat pepper. You, you like pepper. You like seeing the pepper. You can carry it and put it in your mouth. The first day you made gari for him. You put pepper. You were smiling. Ah, The guy just touched it and a headache just came on him. And now the brother doesn't want to talk. Ah, This pepper is killing him. He said, do you like the food? I said, come on. This food was as sweet as you. And now you are, you are lying. Tomorrow you will suffer it again. She will make beans. Add pepper on it. She'll be telling everybody, you know my guy likes my cooking. He likes the pepper. Funny enough, this guy is dying. This pepper is killing him. Every time you eat her food, you must have a runny nose. Brother, what happened? I'll say forget this. Everybody say communication. communication. Communication helps you to understand yourself. The Bible says husbands dwell with your wives according to knowledge love is not enough are you hearing me have you not seen a lovely roommate that you could not live with how many of you love your roommates but you cannot take that same roommate next session but you love them 
Some of you, you that some of you that are raising hands is your roommates that don't love you because of what you are doing. Hallelujah. Everybody say communication. It will enhance your relationship. Are you listening to me? There are many ladies that the moment you enter a relationship, you already have your expectations that only you know. I expect, at least I give this relationship five days, I should visit Chicken Republic. That's what you have in your heart. That's what you have wished and wondered. Every time I'm holding load, let the guy, that's what you have in your heart. Are you following me now? After five days, he doesn't take you out. He's paining you, but you cannot talk. Say it so that if it's not godly, you can flog it together. Are you listening to me? Communication is one of the number one killer. Roommates that don't talk always fight. The only way to know that he's angry is when he slaps you. You say, did he really hurt you? He said, it has been paining me. Why didn't you talk, Oga roommate? Why didn't you talk? Many ladies, you are like that. You don't talk. You go and grumble to your friends and gossip to everybody and say, this guy, we went to the restaurant, Sam. They were putting the ice cream on the machine, Chicken Republic. He just started taking it. Couldn't we sit down? Me, I hate this thing. And you were laughing all through the euphoria of the excitement. And the guy thought that that's what you like. He will repeat it again tomorrow. Hallelujah. You invited him for dinner. He wore one tie. The shirt was torn. He didn't notice. It wasn't his business. You tell him, ah, sweetheart. Um, see, when there is this chemistry between both of you, you have come to be honest and true to yourselves. Are you following me now? And you can jokingly tell him, say, yourself, I'm going to buy you a new, a new trouser. That your trouser has tried. She has come into your life. You don't joke. You are always serious. You are always praying. You are always fasting. You don't discuss the things you should discuss. If all you are doing in your relationship is Bible study and prayer, you are not helping that relationship. Okay, sister, the Lord gave me a revelation. Shut up. Can't you talk about your lives? Are you not good? What is your best food? There are people, if we call some people in relationship now, you and you, what is your best food? The guy will say, Gary, is his best food. You, you say, is, is beans. You don't know yourselves. You are that much of strangers. Who is the Holy Spirit? You know, you know. What are the 12 names of disciples? You know, you know. When is Jesus coming? Soon, soon, you know. Where are two of you going? You don't know. Don't spiritualize Things that you are supposed to do to help yourself. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Very important. Everybody say communication. communication. Very important. There must be communication. During a relationship. Number two. Set boundaries. Everybody say boundaries. Paul said the, although we are not under the law. But the Bible says the love of God does what? Please set boundaries. Some of you were in the world. Is that correct? And you had relationships where you were in the world. You could have sex anytime you want. You can spend weekend in the guy's house anytime you want. You can bath with the guy in the same bathroom. Now you are born again. You have left Egypt. Force Egypt to leave your mind. In Jesus name. Set boundaries. Set boundaries. Hallelujah. You must set boundaries. Stand up again, two of you. Come, this side, this side, let's go. So you discuss. Abel, you are a great man, oh, you are going far, but you are a man. Say, I'm a man. Part of the reason why you ask this lady out is because you are physically attracted to her, true or false. Please say it, true or false. That means if you get married to her, you will sleep with her one day, true or false. And the reason why you are not sleeping with her now is not because you are an angel or a spirit. It's because you love the Lord. True or false? When you enter a relationship, you are vulnerable by default. Please, are you hearing what I'm saying, believers? What does that mean? You define it. What rules that you don't define, you will cross boundaries without knowing. You can be a Christian. Over 60% or more 
of Christian relationships have people sleeping around, the guy going to spend weekend in the girl's house, the girl going to from Koinonia now, today is Friday, Abby. the grace of our Lord Jesus, your load is outside. You just carry, the guy takes you in his car and he just goes, I was a service, say nice. Even if it's Benihin, you watch throughout that night, sin is at your door. Correct? Say, but me, I, I'm not, I, I'm, I don't used to sleep with the guy. Yet, 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 keep going every day. The Bible says, and Lord settled near Sodom. He didn't enter Sodom. When they were coming to rescue him, where did they find him? In the middle of Sodom. This is how many people have gotten themselves into trouble. Discuss it. Sister, you are not firewood. Discuss it. You are emotional. Talk. Abel, you tell her, say, look, I love God. And in this relationship, we are going to keep the values of the kingdom. If for any reason, any spirit or anything turns my head one day, don't be ashamed. This is somebody, are you saying it in, in the presence of the congregation? Please help me. Don't be disappointed that day. Will just help me. Slap me or run. Just do something. Remind me of my destiny. Just put a picture of hellfire on your phone. Do something that will help me. Sister, listen. And I must say this. Listen, we are humans. Church people are hypocrites and liars. Me, I'm not like that. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Very important. You can't come and visit him by 11 30 in the night yeah he just had practicals morning till night then you came around he say I, I i was i was reading and i didn't know what to do with myself ah you are looking for trouble oh you are looking for trouble the brother is already on his boxers he's trying to lie down he's trying to sleep now you come in he's going to marry you one day oh he's going to marry you one day you are fast forwarding that day now. You will die. You are there to protect the brother's life, not to kill him. Can't you talk on phone? Am I, am I blessing you? This is the issue. I know we are out of time. We will pray, but we need to talk about this. It's very important. There are many anointed brothers that suddenly entered relationships and they found out that they are, they are sleeping with the lady and doing a lot of things to their own shock. Because number one, you didn't discuss it. Number two, you are not doing anything about it. Hallelujah. Very important. You must talk about it. Your roommates sleep around and they come and they are talking about all their experiences. All those devilish things. And you sit down, you are hearing it. Now it's affecting your mind. You don't know. You think because you are a Christian, it will just... No, it's affecting your mind. You are getting emotional. You are getting seduced by that statement. Before you know it, you find yourself. And the innocent brother, because he likes you, will fall victim. Everybody say, I, I receive grace to set boundaries. Christians... I know what I'm saying may offend some of you because it's a guy I beg Jare, your own. You have gone to extreme. Please, Abba. Well, if your destiny is colorful and you want to get there, ask yourself a question. Are you ready for a child now? If you are not, behave. Brother, for every time you sleep with a lady, see the vision of a baby. Are you ready? If you are not behave. Praise the Lord. Please define boundaries. Christian relationships should reveal the character of Christ. And you sister. One day something comes upon the brother. Whatever it is. Instead of you to help the brother. You now start going around. Ah! These brothers. I'm surprised. Oh, Koinonia. Shut up please. Did he tell you it's a spirit? Help him. Help him. Help him. Don't disgrace the brother. Oh, I will talk. 
Hallelujah. It's very important. Help the brother. And brother, help the sister. When she's calling you and you don't understand what she's saying in the phone. Be talking with one ear, be praying. Find a way, let your spirit be praying. Talk about the second coming of Jesus. Talk about the end of the age. Just say something that will bring the sister back to herself. Don't go and spend weekend in a guy's house. You are not married to him. All the sisters say amen. amen. I know many Christian ladies. Once it's Friday, somebody comes from Lagos or somewhere. You go and spend. How can you go and spend weekend in the house of somebody you are already emotionally attached and physically attracted to? You are vulnerable. Hallelujah. You are going to go and bath. The brother is watching you. Ah. You, are, you want to kill the brother? You are bathing. The guy is just singing choruses around your bathroom. Or oh, God, go to the parlor. Trouble. If a guy lives in a house and you go, you can enter the parlor, you can enter the kitchen. But you, you begin to put yourself in trouble. See, all I'm trying to say is that create boundaries. Can I tell you something? Brother, when you start sleeping with a lady, I assure you, your chances of marrying her will diminish by a sizable factor. Because part of the things that you should make, how, make you want that lady is that she's keeping herself and is supposed to be the blessing and consummation of marriage. Are you listening to me? Sister, you just open up yourself to any brother. He's just sleeping with you and telling you that, don't worry, in two weeks I'll give you an engagement ring. You wait and go and hear what he's saying in the midst of his friends. Hallelujah. Do you know, every time you sleep with a lady or you sleep with a guy that you are not married with, there is a seed of resentment and hatred that comes. That's what happened between Adam and Eve when they went out of the glory of God. Be careful. Be careful. Some of you watch every kind of film. The guy is here, the lady is here. You are watching all kinds. Please, God bless you. Just be seated. You are watching every kind of film. When I talk about all those film things, some of you think it's not an issue. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Put boundaries. Avoid things that arouse you people. Avoid things that arouse you people and get you into trouble. Hallelujah. You just see the guy. You just come and fly on the guy. He's on the bed. You just fly. Ah. <laughs> and the brother is smiling as if he's in control of things. You better, you better start praying. You are not in control. Very important. Hmm. Hallelujah. Build together. Everybody say I will define boundaries. You are in a relationship right now. You have not defined the boundaries. Do it tomorrow. Define it. How far is far? How far is far? Please define it. Hallelujah. Now, I'll round up with this. There are many other things, but we're out of time. We really are out of time. Just give me a few minutes, five minutes, and we're out. Danger signs. Oh, this is important. You must write it. Danger signs that your relationship is nose diving or that your relationship may not work out. Danger signs. I must say this. Very important. Number one. When you find yourself consistently violating boundaries, that relationship may not work out. Did you hear what I said? Are you listening to me? What did I say? Consistently violating boundaries. No way. A time will come. Look at me. The lady will be so cheap or the guy will be so cheap they will be like a rag for you. Discontent will enter your heart. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Take these boundaries issues seriously. 
I know some of you feel, why is he talking like this? Okay. Once you are consistently violating boundaries, every night, every weekend, you are coming to his house, all kinds of things. No. Your chances of getting married are being slashed down seriously. Number two, number two danger sign excessive involvement of third parties in your relationship this is very important there are many of us the number of counselors and senators and members of the house of assembly in your relationship are too much too much you have a senate that decides on everything you want to cook for the guy upper house lower house must decide two of you cannot flog out issues this is what is killing many relationships. Hallelujah. There is too much involvement of third parties. Let me tell you something. God is my witness. And for years we've been doing this. Once we pray for people and bless their relationships, you can ask Pastor Jakes, we stay out. Are you listening to me? We don't come and say, oh, we're leaders over you and we're just scrutin. No, we stay out. We only come in if you invite us. Or where we see that kind, there is a need. Are you listening to me? Listen. If your friend enters a relationship, please stay out. What I mean stay out is define boundaries. Hallelujah. Praise God. Some of you are too involved in the relationship of your friends and loved ones. We don't even know whether it's the friends that are in a relationship or you are the one. You are too involved. You can veto things on behalf of your friend that is in a relationship. It's their business. Leave them alone. Please. Go and pray and wait for your own. Leave them alone. Excessive involvement of third parties. Once you start allowing too many people to come into you, they will confuse you. They will make you to make wrong decisions. At the end of it, that relationship will not work. Danger sign number two. Danger sign number three. When you find yourself, this is important. When you are consistently quarreling and manifesting rage over trivial issues, just know that that relationship has entered the beginning of the end. Look up, please. Look up. When Zuera's food suddenly stops being sweet, promise. Food that you used to eat every day. You were lean like you would die. When you entered the relationship, it improved on you. Now you can see Zuera's food is not sweet again. Her hairstyle is not nice again. Are you following me now? Her text messages are not... Once you find yourself edgy over trivial things, your heart has left that relationship. Hmm. Is someone learning something in this place? Quarreling over trivial issues. Do you know why? There is a scripture, we will not read it. But the Bible says, 1 Peter 4 verse 8. It says, I believe 1 Peter 4 verse 8, if I'm not mistaken. Love covers a multitude of wrongs. Look at me. When you love someone, you will give excuses for the person. Is that true? Yeah, danger sign. I like the red media. God bless you. Red. Danger sign. Quarreling. And manifesting rage. You see a guy just comes. This is a lady that before, she's your queen. Eh? Transpose, let me sing a song. By two or three keys. You are the reason I'm here. You're the one for me. You're the one for me. That's the song you sang. Go, don't forget. You are the reason I live. You're the one for me. Smile. And the lady is just smiling. Now, listen. Suddenly, I've got my mind made up. Addressing that attracted you to her suddenly becomes insulting. Everything. Everything. Once you find that kind of quarrel, please, let me tell you something. 
if you are not ready to marry her, leave her alone. Somebody else will like her. Don't put any lady under your care and frustrate her. Are you listening to me? Sisters, I must tell you this. Danger sign that your relationship will not last. If the guy you are going out with does not have anybody he listens to. Are you listening to me? Don't ever go out with anybody that cannot listen to people. He will kill you. One day he will beat you, stand on you and be stamping you and you will die there and nobody will know. There are some of us, you are going out with guys nobody knows. They don't listen to anybody. Nobody can talk to them. Pastor Jake says, oh, I want to see him. He said, no, please, leave me. That kind of thing will not help you. Hallelujah. When you see these three things, three things happen. Your relationship is nose diving. You need counseling and you need help fast. Hallelujah. Number four. Maybe we'll talk about, we'll still talk about it next. We'll stop here. Because I still have a lot of things to talk about. There are two issues I want to talk about that many people don't discuss in relationship. Number one is on the issue of health and marriage. But we'll talk about that next week. Is that correct? Health and marriage. This has become a serious issue. If somebody is an SS and she comes and she's in a relationship with somebody who is an SS, can it work? Will they work? Hallelujah. And then the issue of crossing boundaries. Hallelujah. Somebody from Katsina marries an Irobo lady. What, what happens when you are crossing boundaries? The place of family and so on and so forth. And then we'll address the issue of late marriage. Family life. There is a lot we'll talk about. How many of you have been blessed so far? Rise up, let's pray. We'll take that next week. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and pray for one minute. Say, Lord, thank you for your wisdom. I believe that God has spoken to many people tonight. There are many of you that need to change things. You need to adjust things tonight. Very quickly, I'm going to pray. Please pray. We're out of here. Please pray. Those of you who have crossed boundaries in your relationship, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, I ask for grace. Honestly. Be honest with yourself. No one condemns you, but be honest. This is the confidence that I have in you whenever I call you you will answer this is the confidence that I have in you whenever I call This is my confidence, Lord. This is my confidence that I have in you. Whenever I go, you will answer me. This is the confidence. like you to pray for your loved ones say lord from here let this unction lead to their homes make sure you are praying call them by name call them by name they are not as anointed as you are standing for them call them by name call them by name say lord for my sister call them by name your name must answer to them. Kata balata, rata parikata, leke porosotayama. Call them by name. Say, I release an unction to my home. I release angels. Lord, as you are doing it here, do it there. As for me and my house, and my house. 
Pray for them. Lagos, Abuja, Maiduguri, Bauchi State, Yobe, Zamfara, Kogi, wherever. Do a miracle, oh God. Do a miracle, oh God. I know you will do it. I know you will do it. Raise the dead. Change their status. Hallelujah. Now, Hallelujah. There's someone that has been on my mind. Even while I was traveling back today, I was thinking about the person. He came all the way from, I think, Yobe, Sale. Where is he? Please come. The Lord will begin with you tonight. ushers position yourself inside and outside because there will be a rain in this place hallelujah listen you will be set free where did you come from please technical can you help us where did you come from Bauchi State. Okay, from Bauchi. Yes. I want you to know that God will do a miracle in your life. Amen. You believe that? Yes, I believe. You came full of faith. Yes. The Lord will set you free right now. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. That devil. Come out of him right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, just breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. I set you free right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Listen. Please. I want to see those who have heart conditions. You came here. Hear me outside, please. We don't have time to waste we are not going to have to mention cases individually but when when we call your case please run out we are going to pray and see as far as God want to finish fast so that we will end quickly heart conditions leave your seat and come out here quickly either a hole in the heart or an abnormal heart formation quickly quickly appreciate them as they line up here ushers coordinate them heart conditions please come and line up here quickly that devil is a liar. Heart condition. Growing up, they told you you have a heart condition. Come out and line up here. Come out and line up here. No matter how old you are or how young you are. Please line up. Line up. Straight line. Rakata baladabash. Line up, usher, direct them, help them. Hallelujah. As you're standing here, I'd like you to wait by by to it. Because I know the unction of the spirit is here. God will set you free. Baba, God will set you free, sir. And everyone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, sirs, we'll minister quickly. We'll just minister to them. Hallelujah. Praise God. I tell you, there is an unusual unction in this place. As hands are laid on you. Hallelujah. Return back thanking the Lord.
and check if you are still seated in the crowd and you know you have a heart condition don't sit back there God wants to change your story hallelujah there's someone who has an unusual palpitation I don't know what it is you the way you the way you breathe sometimes it's literally holding you and choking you you are the one look at me because it's a devil of darkness your own is not just sickness look at me in the name of Jesus I command that devil of darkness let her go in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus let her go 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 right devil of darkness come out come out Come out of her now. Come out of her now. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. Come. My sister, you too. Come. Some of you that are standing. As hands are laid, you will find out that it was in sickness. My dear, God will set you free right now. Because your own is an oppression. Look at me. Are you, are you listening to me? There is a devil that has oppressed this girl. You will go, 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 go in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus, greater than any other name. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing a dark object coming out of you. Come out of her now. Sister, look at me. I'll pray for you. God will set you free. You believe that? Now thou foul devil, let this girl go round by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go, 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 go. Let her go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I say you won't hide. Come on, I see you in the spirit. Go out of her in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Janka, please. Minister Jakes, Bishop, let's begin to, as they lay hands, they will speak to your life. Don't just think they are laying hands. Hallelujah. Please stand. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. As hands are laid, begin to pray while you're standing. Out of him now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed now. I curse that devil of darkness. Go. 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 Be healed in the name of Jesus. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Right, devil of darkness. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Let him go. Let him go now. Let him go. Let him go. Go. Be healed. Sister, I curse that devil. Because I also see oppression in your sleep. That demon of darkness. Go in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be made whole right now. Be made whole. Oh, God is not done with you. God is not done with you. Be healed in the name of Jesus. As you go back to your seat, check yourself. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out of her by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her right now. In the name of Jesus. What's wrong? Be made free right now. In the name of Jesus. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus. Set 
Set free right now from every oppression. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, only outside, not inside. All of you outside, lift your hands. Not those inside, please, those inside. Lift your hands, those outside. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. The fire of God will terminate the works of darkness. So many of you are under influences of the devil. Hallelujah. Only those outside. At the count of three, as you shout, the power of God comes upon you. One, two, three. Let the fire fall. I curse devils. I curse demons. Go, go, go. Bring them in, ushers. Go, go. Let the fire fall. Bring them in. Bring them in. The fire fall all across the building. Outside. All across. Fire is falling. Goes outside. One more time. Goes outside. Shout Jesus. Rapa <laughs> In power, in power, in power, at the back, outside, at the back, in power, in power, the fire of the Holy Ghost outside, the fire of the Holy Ghost outside. The fire of the Holy Ghost outside. The fire of the Holy Ghost outside. The fire of the Holy Ghost. The of of the Outside. God is not gone. Lift your hands. I release fire. 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 Fire, 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 take it, take it outside, take it outside. For this purpose, for the Son of God, I see two ladies sitting in the same row outside. The fire of God comes upon you now. Right now. That oppression over your life. Two ladies sitting in the same row. Look at me. We've not finished, so we've not finished. If it's possible, if it's possible, the ministers are going to separate themselves into three and walk across the crowd outside. No devil will survive today. Brother, I see a serpent, not a man. Come out of him now. Out of him now. A devil of darkness. Come out of him. Come out of him. I see a snake, not a man. Come out of him. Come out of him. Come out of him. 
I'm seeing a snake, not a human being. You see the way he's behaving? Look at what he's doing. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Come out of him. In the name of Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Leave him, leave him, go. Go, go, go. As you touch me, you touch fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out of him. He must be free. Come out of him. Come out of him now. Come out of him. 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 Come out of him now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon him. Out. 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 Look at, he's free. Look up. Look at this gentleman. Someone who came oppressed of the devil. Brother, you are free in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pick him up. Stand up, my brother. Look at, see, he's even surprised. Look at. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, look at me. Look at me. Do you know when you came out here? Where were you? You came outside. Help me with the mic. What's your name? Samuel. Eh? Samuel. Where are you coming from? Danaka. Look at this guy. Outside, he doesn't even know that he's here. Look at him surprised, looking at everybody. The Lord perfect you and set you free. Where was the lady you were praying for? Pray, this lady. See, I see an old woman. That's what I'm seeing. Turn this lady. I see a very old woman. Come on now. Come out of her. Come out of her. You're not done. Come out of her. Come out now. She lay down as though it's done. You are not done. You are spiritual people here. Out of her now. Out of her by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come out of her right now. That foul devil. In Jesus' name. Leave her alone. She's free. Look at. What's wrong with this woman? Who brought her? Please, if you brought someone, make sure you stand close to the person. Who brought mama? Who are you? Come. Well done. What's her name? Lydia. What's wrong with her? She has been bleeding for the past three years now. For the past three years. Look at. She had dislocation. She had what? Dislocation on her shoulder. She could Since when? Mama, she can she talk? Yes, I can. Mama, how are you? I'm well. Well done, eh? What's the issue? Oh, this hand now is dislocated. Yes, it was since December last year. December? That I went to toilet on my way coming back. You see, you always, like you always know the signature of Satan when you see it. I'm not so, teaching you to be demon conscious. I'm back, just I telling just you that. On the you did what? I said on my way coming back. I found my on the way from the toilet. Yes. How old are you, Mama? I'm 51. 51. I found my 
myself sitting on the ground. You found yourself sitting on the ground. I, that, I don't know how it, it happened. Not that I fell down flat. So and okay, come. You are her daughter. Let let her talk. I was taken to a hospital that is not stroke because immediately it happened. My left hand and left leg seized. Your left leg right now is not moving. No, it's moving. What of your right hand? The what right, is wrong with that, it? No, nothing happened. It's only the left leg and the left hand that seized immediately. Then I was rushed to the hospital. So the bleeding will stop. No, and no. The case of the bleeding is different from. I was taken to the hospital that it was cancer of the womb. Cancer of the womb. Yes. You still have it. Yes. It's going to go. This is what so, I'm saying. That it was not stroke, that it was partial stroke. It was what? Partial stroke. Partial stroke. Then the following day, I was in the hospital for two weeks. I, I, I told them, the doctor, that I want him to discharge me. I want to go for prayer. So I went to, for prayer in Nosarawa State. So the, the following day in, in the prayer house. It's I time move, for you I to move, go. Go, move, go, go, go. Out of her now. Out of her now. Now in the name of Jesus. That devil. Out of her now. Fire on you. Fire on you. In the name of Jesus. Fire upon you. Go, go, go. Go. Sorry, mama. So I move my leg. So I Okay, what, what, did, what, okay, so what is wrong with you right now? What, what did now, you come with right the now? Of the womb. Cancer because of the womb. Cancer of the womb. bleeding. Then. Your uh, hand. The hand. These are the two conditions. Now that I fell down flat. So I discovered that I have dislocation on my shoulder. So. Okay, it's all right. The hand has been fixed locally. But up to now, I couldn't move the hand. But I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. Yes. All right. Can you feel my hands? Can you feel my hands? Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My God, do wonders in this hand right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Perfect this hand. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. That devil of darkness, your hold is taken from my hands. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. fingers yes. every pain go i command you to go you are of the spirit of darkness i challenge you try lifting it up lift both of your hands up try it just try lifting your hands up can you try lifting it up in the name of jesus you feel pains you feel pains where your shoulder By the power of the Holy Spirit, begin to move it more. In the name of Jesus, begin to move it. Start moving it. Start moving it. Start moving it. Start moving it. In the name of Jesus, I cast that devil. I cast that devil. Can you wind your hand? Try and wind this hand. Just look at me. Look at me.
Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone that coughs out blood. I'm seeing someone that coughs out blood. You cough all the time. You cough out blood. Please hurry up. You cough out blood. Literally. Who is the person? Inside. Are they hearing me outside? Quickly. If you identify that person, let the person come. You cough out blood. Literally. Come out. Please clear the way for them. at oppression this is what i'm seeing come on now get out of her out of her now out of her now out of her in the name of jesus out of her now out of her now devil of darkness i curse you by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus not only this lady but the members of her family have been oppressed Lay your hands on her chest. In the name of Jesus, I curse that power of darkness. Be free. Totally. Now. In the name of Jesus. Since when? For the past two weeks. For the past two weeks. Have you gone to the hospital? Can I pray for you? You believe Jesus will lay your hands on your chest. You will feel a fiery sensation upon your chest right now. Now you hear my voice. Let her go. Go! Go! Hallelujah. Those of you inside, lift your hands. I'm going to ask the cymbal to clash and the string play. Listen, when that happens, the fire of the spirit will move across anyone here under any oppression of darkness. You must go. This is not a negotiation. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. At the count of three, begin to clash the cymbal. One, two, three. Kashatabata. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 Devils go. Satan be exposed. Satan be exposed. For this couple was the Son of God. Satan be exposed. Light shine. I release fire. 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 fire upon this congregation. Fire. 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 Fire upon you. Fire. Bring them out. Bring them out. Fire. 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 You can't stand it. No devil you can stand it. Fire. Bring them out. Bring them out. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire! Everyone under any cost, any spell, any enchantment, any act of witchcraft, fire! 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 Fire!
God's people to go. It's time for destinies to be open. It's time for what has made you to cry to end. Bring them out. Hey, I see you in the spirit. Leave her. Leave her. Go. 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 I see you in the spirit. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. Out of Out of Out of Out of Fire upon you. You must let her go. Madam, in Jesus' name, you are free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are free in Jesus' name. Bring me a mic. I do these things to teach you a lesson. Madam, stand up. No, 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 not her. Not her. You are a devil of darkness. For how do you think you can hide in the presence of God's light? Look at me. Bring the mic for me. You are not gone completely. Oh. You are a devil of darkness. Out of her now. On your mark, get set, go. Go, 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 go. Out of her. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. As you touch me, you touch fire. As you touch me, you touch the fire of the spirit. It make it is out of her now. Out, 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 out. Come out of her now. She's free. Of Jesus, Madam, it will not stand fire from my hands to your head. If I be a servant of God, you stand around fire in the name of Jesus. Come out of her. This woman's destiny has been tied down. Lord, who is the person? Let the fire of God catch up with the person right now. God shows me this room. There's one person. With my hands. Let the fire of the spirit separate that person now. 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 Stand up, madam. Don't feel embarrassed. Calm down. Hallelujah. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I want you to look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. See, this woman has suffered. You just see someone walking. 
things are not going right people speak all kinds of grammar and satan is advancing mama please come Jangfa is going to speak to you i sense please mama you're free take her outside i see her coughing whatever please take her outside for god's sake so we don't litter this place take her outside i don't know if it's poison or whatever it is that she took take her outside You're still not out. Go out, go out, go out now. Out, go out. Go out in the name of Jesus. Go out of her. Go out of her. Come. Place your hand on this lady's chest. Out of her. Come out of her now. I release fire upon you. Foul devil. Out of her. Patata tata da kapa. Rakata posa tali. Rekete kete kete. Le gronto zopo rotata. Riata la kosiaba. Alright, your reign in this life is over. On your mark, set, go. 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 Go, 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 you can't stand it. Go, go, go. I prophesy to you today, after today, your life will begin to move as if Satan does not exist. Are you listening to me? Every oppression, those outside hear me. Every oppression challenging your family through the greatness of the power that is in the name of Jesus, that challenge will bow. Don't let her go, bring her back. Come, sweetheart. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Just keep looking. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. I'm seeing your father's face on your face. Look at my eyes. Just look. For she will go free. The children shall not suffer the iniquity of their fathers. Right now, you and the spirit of death upon her get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Up your heads, O oh ye gates, be ye lifted, O oh ye ancient doors, and the King of Glory will come in. in Jesus' name, you're free. Come, Mama, bring that lady who is falling. See, tonight, many of you, you will go back rejoicing. He who has the Son has it all. We have the Son. 
So we are in time. Lay your hands on her stomach. Out. 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 In the name of Jesus. is it? Cancer. Who said so? The doctors. Lay your hands there. Lay. Kisa. Interpreter. Selina. Where is she? She's walking. Tell her Jesus. Okay. Okay. Tell her Jesus Christ is going to heal her right now. See, she's crying. See. Tell her Jesus will heal her now. Is she looking at you? Look at her. Tell her, Mama, Jesus Mama. will heal you. I'm so sad too, my look, at, look at, look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I can't sleep in the night. I can't breathe. Look at this. This is somebody's mother. This is somebody's mother. of you outside, I want you to know that Jesus is in this place. There is someone I need in this room. The devil has oppressed you. And the Holy Ghost spoke to me. He said, come out. Two of you, all of you in this room, lift your hands. That devil is a liar. As I, I shout the name of Jesus, the fire of God will come. People, please let me in the mighty name of Jesus. I release fire right now. My father, locate those two people right now in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God fall, fall, fall. Two of them, two of them. There's one already, two of them. Fall. Shatatatatatatata. Four, four, four. Sister, tonight is your night of salvation. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come up. Come out of her. Shut up. Out of them. 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 Bring them in. He who was the son. See, none of you will go back the same. Are you hearing me? None of you will go back. Who is Grace here? Who is by the name Grace? You are standing here. Your name is Grace. Who is Grace? Come in, sir. He who was the son. Has eternal life. We have the son. So we have eternal life. Time is up. Thou foul devil. Let this guy go. Go. Fire on you. Fire upon you. That devil of oppression. That devil. Leave him now. Come out of him. 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 Now fire upon you. Fire. Let him go. Let him go. Come out of him. Come out of him. 
fire upon you fire upon you in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of you are not done out 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 until he's completely free out little girl be free I separate you with this spirit go 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 time up time up this lady is heavily oppressed out of her out devil of darkness you came for koinonia you're welcome out of her in the name of Jesus Stand up, pick him up. Fire on you right now. It's time. It's time. It's time. You must go. Go. Bring him. You must go. This lady has been so tight. Now, listen. I need to explain something to you. Please follow me. It's not the people. Listen. It doesn't mean they are possessed with demons. Are you listening to me? So get that clear so that you don't carry your big mouth and start talking stories around. There are three levels of manifestation of Satan. Some of them are acutely possessed with demons. Some of them, devils influence their lives and destinies. So the fact that they are manifesting like they are possessed does not mean they are possessed. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why they don't even know. Pick him up. Kai, this guy has been so oppressed of the devil. This lady has dreams and she meets with people. Go out of her. Go out of her. Just let him, let him lie down when he's ready to stand up. This guy is so weak. He doesn't even know that he has been under all kinds of bondages of Satan. Pray. Let me pray for you. Mama, you believe Jesus has authority over cancer? You do? Because he's going to go. Oh yes, it will go. Hmm? There your hand is there. See, I, I'm touching it. It's looking like a stone. Out of her! Out of her! Out of her! Devil of darkness is not cancer, it's a spirit. Go out of her now. Go out of her now. Go out of her now. He was the son, has eternal life. Hallelujah. Mama, who brought Mama out? Eh? I said, who is Grace? Oh, I was actually talking about some. Bring the man on the wheelchair and on crutches. Let him come and stand here. Please, if we have not called your case, don't just come out. We'll give room for that. But let him stand. Sir, please, can you come and minister to this woman for time's sake? Bring him here. Sir, you're welcome. Look at me. What's wrong with you? Accident. On which leg? This leg. What's wrong with the leg? Operation. Operation. Yes. They did surgery and it's not working. You want to walk? Yes. You believe Jesus will set you free? Yes. Clear the way for him. He was the son. The name of the Lord Jesus look at me you believe in Jesus Christ can you walk without with it are you feeling pains yes. right where right what of this leg look at me in the name of the Lord Jesus 
I set you free. I command your leg to straighten out in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me. Walk. Come, follow me. Follow me. Can you walk? Try it. Just take a step and see. What's wrong with the legs? It's heavy. Ah, where? But can you bend it like this? Try and bend it. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Could you do this before? Could you do this before? God is healing you. Keep moving it. Move it. Move it. You just do what I'm telling you to do. Move it. Move it. Now move it like this. Move it like this. Move it like this. Move it like this. Can we try and walk now? Hold this one. Hold my hands. Walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Try and match it down. Is it because of the metal? There's a metal inside his leg. So it's limiting him from walking. Hallelujah. So they must remove the metal. They can't, oh, they put it here permanently. Lord, let this metal become his bones. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. This metal Amen. Melt away. Ministers move across the crowd. We don't have time. Go ahead. Okay, Jamfa is already ministering. Some people outside just move and minister to people. Join them, Kenny. Someone should take on this role. Vivian. I'm hearing the name Vivian. Pastor, sir. Yes. Vivian. Who is Vivian? A fair lady called Vivian. No, no, a fair lady called Vivian. The Lord is showing me a fair lady called Vivian. Vivian. Sister, stand up. Look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Thou foul devil. Go! 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 In Jesus' name, he set free. Leave I alone. Vivian. What's wrong with you? Eh? People come to you and oppress you in a dream. Is that correct? Do you know me? Have, you, have I talked with you before? You want to be free? You'll be free right now. John, it's time for you to enter God's plan and purpose for your life. Are you listening to me? Because you are not supposed to be a photographer. Are you listening to me? You are supposed to have gone far beyond this level. God didn't just bring you to Koinonia to snap. Please take the, photo, the camera. Victor can snap, so be doing it in the interim. You believe what I'm telling you? Uh -huh, because I see that how many people drink in your family? Tell the truth and shame the devil. How many? Two people, sir. You and who? I don't drink, sir. Again, yes, sir. you used to drink. Yes, sir. Have you stopped yes, sir. completely? Yes, sir. Praise God. But the Lord will set you free. Hmm? Because in your family, women. Uh -uh. You believe that? Yes, eh? See, let me tell you the truth. This is not your destiny in Christ. This happened as a result of frustration. Is that correct? Many things, school didn't work. Many things happened. Even why you don't even have your complete result. Is that true? 
Help me. Is that true? That's true. God will set you free. Hallelujah. You believe that? I want to speak into your destiny and call it forth into where God wants it to be. That devil is a liar. Come out of him now. Come out of him. I release your glorious destiny. The days of oppression are over. Rise up beyond the photographer. Become the leader and the entrepreneur that God has destined for you to be. See, listen. It's not that this guy is lazy. I hope you know that. It's not that he's lazy. Ella, come. Abigail, come. Wumi, come. Three of you, come and stand here. For the sake of your families, the time has come. Out of her. Come out of her now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. A devil of darkness. Out now. Now. Shatata rata. Reketele mo subariata. Brento capriata laka. Rakata baba baba baba. Out. Out. Fire upon you. Setele ke pariata. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Fire. 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 Be set free. Right now in the name of Jesus. You have a glorious destiny. No devil will hold you down. In the name of Jesus. Lawful captives be free. I release you. That devil of temper and anger. Go. Go. I command you be free. The plague of death over your family. Go. 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 I, come in, I command that terminal disease. Now it's time. Time up. Time up. You are a devil. Go in the name of Jesus. Be free. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. That devil cannot stand. Fire upon you. It's time to be free. Time to be free. Time to be free. Leave her. Let her go. This lady has suffered too long. You've held her destiny down. Go in the name of Jesus. Once again, come. I stopped praying for you for a reason. Please take this guy up. This gentleman. Look at me. See. Cummings. Do you know that your life, listen, listen. I saw upon this guy the spirit of Cain. And I didn't know what it was. He was lying down there. That was why I walked there and laid my hands upon. You know the curse that was upon Cain? Bring them out. God is not done with them yet. You know the curse that was upon Cain? He said he won't die, but he will be a wanderer. This is how this guy's life has been. Today you are in Lagos. Tomorrow you are here. Next tomorrow you are this. It's time for your freedom. Free you. He was the son. Has the time. My dear, come and stand here. Yes. Come and stand here. Birthday girl. You are the one who celebrated your birthday yesterday. You're welcome. We are going to pray and minister to people. The ministers are, sir, you, you are done? Ah, please pray. Oh, please take time and speak into their lives. I beg you. These people came to receive. Ministers, go around. Please prophesy to them. Where's Jamfa? Jakes, please. Please move around. Where are the people I called out now? My dear, you know, the devil wants to make your life a waste. So you are moving, but you are not accomplishing anything. 
But the Lord loves you. And tonight the eye of the Lord is upon you. Hallelujah. You believe that? Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Look at me. Just look at me. Lord, let this lady be free from every oppression of darkness. In the name of Jesus, be free. I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost. Look at me. I'm seeing you pregnant. Drive every useless man out of your life. Are you listening to me? I'm not saying you are pregnant now. I'm saying I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit, not physically. Hallelujah. Praise God. So don't, please, kick any man who wants to come and talk grammar around you. Because I'm seeing that you are going to three countries. Number one, South Africa. Huh? Number two, UK. Number three, Canada. These three countries. The Lord is taking you there. Hold on. But then I see a lot of resistance rising up from wherever. I may not be able to talk all this with you because we're in the presence of people. But I want to pray for you. It's time. See, three things will happen. One, a passion for God you cannot recover from. The ministers are ministering to people around. While they are that devil, let me tell you, cast out every devil, prophesy, release people to their prophetic destinies. Let her go. Go! Go! Time up, thou devil of darkness. Be free now. Be free now. I command that wicked spirit. Depart from your life. Fire right now all over your body. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost. All over you. Right now. Leave her, let her go. For she shall not be called Jabez. That's what the Lord says I should say. Because you were born in sorrow, you will not be called Jabez. Tonight I enlarge your coast in the spirit. My dear, look at me. From today, you will walk into your prophetic destiny. See, you don't know what it is that has happened to you now. Even you, you cannot answer. But look at me. You are a very good girl. Are you listening to me? But you are assuming the character of another person. Tonight, the Lord sets you free. This lady is a wonderful lady beyond your imagination. But sometimes, you see her doing things that even her does not know. Because I see the spirit of anger and rage. I mean rage almost to kill somebody. But the Lord sets you free. And this is what I'm seeing in the spirit. I'm seeing you move from the side. And you are climbing a ladder. And the Lord says restore. This is what I prophesy. Restore. This is what will begin to happen to you. Restore. Hallelujah. If I... Ifai, hearing the name Ifai, Ifai, who is Ifai? Ifai, now, if you brought someone for healing from outside Zaria, quickly bring them phone, quickly, we have to round up, quickly, please bring them. If you invited someone, no matter how far you are outside, bring the person, sir, come. It's time for the Lord to set you free. Not only in your health, but on every area of your life. You believe that? Hold my hands. Both of your hands. All right now, I speak to you. I open up that door. I challenge the works of darkness. Go! By the fire of the Holy Ghost. 
One, two, three. The Lord perfects you. Who brought this man? What's wrong with him? Bring them forward. He has what? His sight. He used to be bigger than this. But what happened? Because I'm seeing something like a rock upon his head. Who is Silvanus? Sir, does he drink? Who is your friend that drinks? He's drinking. You need to get him born again and see what we go. Right? I want to pray for you right now. Your weight will come back. Your life will be restored. And your eyes, you will begin to see clearly. Hallelujah. Estefanus. Silvanus. From where? From Haido Road. From where? Haido Road. Eh? I A U. Hein Dogo. Ah, okay. You are born again. You love Jesus Christ. But you won't do ministry the way you are planning. You will start afresh with God. Alright? So disable all those man of God things. You will start afresh. Primary one, two, three, four, five. God will anoint you. Right? I'm going to pray for you. You believe what I'm saying. And leave all your friends who are deceiving you. Huh? You are going to be a great man, but you are not yet that man, so you will stay in the school of the spirit. Hmm? These teachings that you people jump and pride over, they are basic things in the spirit. Let God work with you. From today, you begin a new journey. Hold my hands. Lord, put a fire upon him right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A new beginning, fresh start. Just breathe in and out as deep as you can. In and out. Baba, be free. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Who brought him? He came on his own. What's wrong with you? Migraine. Put your hands on your head. Lay it. But you will first set you free. Then you will begin a walk with him. Any appetite and anything that does not belong to him will give way. You will be surprised what you will begin to do in your life. Okay? Look at me. What am I doing? One leg in. Where is the other leg? Why? Because this is how your life is. It's time for you to love him with every passion. Hmm? So I break everything that is not of God in the realm of the spirit. Let the fire of God take over. Take over your life. Take over her life. Foul spirit, let her go. Lord, anoint her and use her. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. Please do it quickly. Someone help her. Lift up your hands. I look to you. I 
saw the sun rising over your family. And then I heard this song, I will wait for you. Jesus, you're the sun in my The days of oppression are over. You are standing on behalf of your family. Something is happening to your father right where I'm holding. The Lord is setting him free. Today the Lord is giving you the mantle that was upon your mother. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Because as I look at you I see her face. And the Lord says I should tell you to run with the spirit of power. Whatever you decree will happen. The Lord will establish you and you will be a mother indeed. That all your times of tears will be taken away by a new joy. Take this message to your father. For the Lord visits your family tonight. What was I doing? Okay, the ministers are still... Okay, those that are around, Pastor Williams is here. Just, the ministers are ministering, let them continue, but those that are around, even if it's just me and Pastor Williams, please, let's pray on the request. After we pray on the request, I'm going to begin to move prophetically and speak. This is the time you will receive. Are you listening to me? Stretch your hands towards this prayer request and begin to pray in tongues. Bishop. your hands shaba la bara do krasta bara bara rata kata prata kada bara da bash paro ka prande pradeshita do miracles oh god ma rekata bara da 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 bash solve every problem here oh god and for all our facebook twitter Egyptians, you see them no more. These 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 Egyptians. You are conquered. Whatever is conquered here is conquered. All over this country and around the world, we release testimonies, miracles in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, by your spirit, Lord, by your hand, Lord, by your spirit. Lord, by your great power, let there be miracles on this request. Miracles, supernatural miracles, terminate sicknesses, terminate diseases, never to return. Creative miracles in the name of Jesus. All supernatural jobs, supernatural wisdom, let it be done by your spirit. Miracles by your spirit. Supernatural miracles by your spirit. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name. I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason why I sing. I found a Lift your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. I 
I want you to receive every prophetic word because the creative power of God is going to swing into motion. The creative and prophetic power. Lift your hands. As I pray, I'd like you to shout a loud amen with your spirit. Hallelujah. Right now. Doors of delay. I command you. Be opened in the name of us. Delay. Be gone. Delay. Be gone. Delay. Delay in marriage. Delay in jobs. I cause it to its root. I release you in the name of Jesus. Every academic bondage. Every academic bondage. In the name of Jesus, be free, be free, be free. Mental blockage, be free from it. Academic bondage, I set you free. This is the best exam you would have ever written in your institutions of learning. I prophesy it by the power of the highest. I call this session for you a season of sevenfold restoration. Sevenfold restoration. Sevenfold. Seven fold, not one fold, not two fold. I speak it. Where you have been victimized, any student here who has been victimized right now, whether it is project or service year or whatever, I change it in the realm of the spirit. Any one of your loved ones that has no job between today and the middle of April, I command fearful supernatural jobs in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every womb called Barry, I don't care whether the womb has been removed or not right now in nine months time you will celebrate miracle children be open every barren womb be open hallelujah every plague of death over your life or your family members make sure you are lifting your hands to every plague of death by the blood that speaketh better things because I see miscarriages that the devil wants to bring to many families I see miscarriage of children every plague of death I command it to pass over you forever in the name of Jesus He said, because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with a type of oil called the oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. The anointing that brings you above, I call you in the realm of the spirit, rise up in the name of Jesus. Rise up a new level of prosperity. 
a new level of lifting a new level of wisdom and Jesus grew in wisdom in stature and in favor with God and with men as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives let a cloak of favor hit you where you are favor 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 every terminal disease in this place HIV cancer in the name of Jesus we terminate it once and for all be free in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus SS AS we change your genotype in the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus every demonic oppression that is responsible for where you are and where your family is tonight it is time for the new anointing guard up your loins and be ready every yoke of bondage surely must be broken I command every captivity over your family by the shed blood of Jesus Christ captivity ends in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm standing in the spirit before a gate and the Lord is telling me let God's people walk to it and move forward in their life I command you by the spirit and according to the vision of the Lord to me move forward go forward no more stagnation in ministry enter your place of anointing enter your place of rest enter it I place you inside it I take you into the mantle of your life the prophetic oil of your life I release it move forward go forward in the name of Jesus Christ and I speak to you every Egyptian you see today you are the one who knows the Egyptian so lift your hands with faith in your spirit everything called an Egyptian as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives once and for all bye bye to them forever bye bye to them forever in your family bye bye to them bye bye to them I release signs wonders I release miracles take it take it take it take it from the depth of my heart according to the order of grace we take your miracle take your miracle take your miracle everything your hand touches from today in the name that is above all names I command it to multiply my brother stand here bring this lady come this is what I'm demonstrating to you what I saw in the spirit that God is connecting you to the people who will take you to the next level of your life. 
May the Lord take you where your gift will be needed. May the Lord take you where your gift. I command demand upon your oil. Demand. Prophetic demand. Re kotosata. Ma re kete. Re toria. Ma pratati. E krekete le 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 le. Poso prege le 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 ba. Pratosata. I command. Every uncompleted family project. Every uncompleted family project. The Lord shows me the number 21 in the realm of the spirit. And I pray that between now and the next 21 days, I command angels of help. I release it to your families. Receive it. Receive it. Help. Help is coming. Zion's help. The helper of Zion. Move across families. Move across families. I tell you as surely as the Lord lives, between today and the next 21 days, you will see fearful testimonies by the hand of God. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I impart spiritual gift upon you. At the count of seven, let fresh fire fall upon everybody. Every one, two, three. My God, do it. I see angels. Four, five, six. There it is. Come on. Take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, outside, take it, take it, take it, in the name of Jesus, take it, take it, take it, fire, the prophetic, the apostolic, Evangelistic teaching mantles, pastoral graces, leadership, entrepreneurship. I fire it into your spirit. Everywhere you have been deserted so that no man goes through you. I call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. In the name of the Lord Jesus, doors be open. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Many of you don't know what breakthrough is. You just receive it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. I release it breakthrough an angel stands in this row take it breakthrough take it take it take it take it right to the back take it take it the Lord gives you a new name whatever you came here for whatever request you brought I command go back with a testimony go back with a complete testimony whatever you came here with go back with a testimony in the name of Jesus and every one of you who came from far and near to catch a fire and catch an anointing go back with that fire 
go back and reproduce these things and even greater receive it receive it Thank you, Jesus. Rabata Shalabakuria. Now, listen. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish. Listen to me, everybody, inside and outside. You're here and you've been struggling with your life. The Lord has been speaking to you. You know that now is the time to make it right with the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Whosoever will come to me, I will in no wise cast away. He said, Come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Hallelujah. You've never made this decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Especially many of you outside. Tonight is your night. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is saying, How long? Will you run away when I have a better life for you? When I can save you from eternal condemnation and lead you to the path of grace? Or you've given your heart to the Lord, but you found yourself derailing. Please, as you hear my voice, do not harden your heart. Hallelujah. At the count of three, inside and outside, I want you to leave your seat and rush out here. The Lord is calling you. You've not given your heart to the Lord. Leave your seat. They are coming. Appreciate them. Right now, leave your seat. Come right to the front. Clap for them. They are coming. Thank you, Jesus. You need to make it right to the Lord. Come out. Or you've been born again once, but you've derailed. Don't stay outside. No matter how far you are, find your way to the front. Forget about your friend. Please run quick. Quick, quick, do it fast. Keep clapping, Koinonia. Thank you, Lord, for a harvest. Don't sit back. There are still more people outside. The Holy Ghost is speaking to you. Don't wrestle with him. Sister, brother, the time has come. There are still more people I see outside. Keep coming. We'll wait for you for one minute. Keep coming. No matter what you've done, there is a fresh start. Celebrate them. The devil is a liar. He will not hold you back. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. Keep coming. Keep coming. You're welcome. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for making this decision. Hallelujah. I'd like to pray for you. I'd like to lead you to Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter how far and how long you have gone. The Lord can give you a new start tonight. Are you listening to me? The Lord can give you a new start tonight. No matter how far you have gone. No matter how far you have gone. No matter how far you have gone. Lift your right hand to heaven and say after me, Lord Jesus, mean it from your heart. This is not a Bible recitation. Lord Jesus, I come before you acknowledging you as my Savior. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose again for me. Today, I receive the gift of salvation. Come into my heart. Give me a new start. In the name of Jesus. I denounce sin. I denounce Satan. Make me a new person. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. From today. Forward ever. Backward never. The things I used to do. I'll do them no more. Because Jesus is Lord. Of my life. Father. Father commend these ones to you. They have come out to make a genuine decision because they love you and they acknowledge you. My God, I pray that their salvation be genuine. 
And I pray that from today, you begin a walk in their lives. I command that you are free from every challenge you used to go through. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let peace return to your heart. Holy Spirit, I commend you to these ones. This is the assignment you have given on earth. I pray that you do great things in their life. In the name of Jesus. My brother, you are the one who drove me one time. The Lord will begin to do great things in your life and even in your family for this great decision you have made. In the name of Jesus. Appreciate them in Jesus' name. Now, in one minute, I'd like you to follow the elder. I said the elders. Follow the ushers. Hallelujah. And they'll be able to have your details and will follow you up. When, sir? Jakes. Monday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, what time? Tomorrow, 7 p.m. on the dot. Please be at chapel. Pastor Jakes will be following you up. We'll have foundational teachings that will bring to guide you and you'll be filled with the Holy Spirit. Ah, okay. The small ones, please. The very young ones, you're welcome. You can come by 4 p.m., all right? So that you are not roaming around 4 p.m. If you have to explain to your parents, please tell them you got born again. And if you need, if your parents want to talk to any of the ministers to confirm, no problem. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, follow the ushers. God bless you. Appreciate them. You're worshiping with us for the first time. This is your first time of attending this glorious meeting called Koinonia. I'd like you to leave your seat and jump out quickly. Quickly. Appreciate them. Come on, Koinonia. There are many people outside. We celebrate you. Come on. Koinonia celebrates you. Give them a big welcome. If there's anybody sitting close to you who is coming for the first time, ask the person to come out. We have a blessing for you. Keep clapping. Wow. Keep clapping. They are coming. Please hurry up. Hurry up. Make way for them. Ushers, direct them. Thank you. Keep coming. Thank you, mommy. Keep coming. Keep coming. There's still space for you. There's still space. We acknowledge you and we want to tell you thank you for coming. Hallelujah. This is Koinonia. Put together by Eternity Network International. We thank God for what he's doing in our midst. How many of you were blessed tonight? I assure you, you will never be the same. You will go back and meet fearful testimonies. I assure you, you will know you met God tonight. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. We love you. We truly celebrate you for making our time and the sacrifice to come here. Hallelujah. We are here every Friday building the word and helping us to understand the Holy Spirit and walk in partnership with him. We want to pray for you and prophesy upon you. Saints of God, stretch your hands upon them. Listen, we are anointed. So if we pray for you, believe it, it will happen in your life. Father, we pray that you bless them. Anoint everyone. May the Lord give you a testimony that will confirm that you met God tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord give you a testimony. Come out of her now. Out. Now. Out of her. Come out of her. Your testimony starts. Come out. Out of her now. now. Devil, come on. Out. Out of her. Come out of her. Out. 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 You have oppressed her for too long. She came for koinonia. Thou devil of darkness. All right, your time is up. Go. Now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. That demon of lust, leave her. Now. Now. In Jesus' name.
Balatosa Pratana. You are free. In Jesus' name. Pick her up. Sister, you have received a visitation from the Lord. For you would have gone back with the same problems you carried and brought here. But the Lord has visited you tonight. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Hallelujah. And for every one of you, don't you think we are playing when we are praying for you? We truly pray that you will go back with a testimony and an experience. That the things you used to do that are not consistent with the Lord, you will do them no more. Amen. Every bad relationship you came here with, we break it. Amen. You will go back, you won't find the other people again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord connect you to destiny helpers. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And every bondage of Satan, we set you free from it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. I'd like you to quickly follow the ushers. They'll have your details and we'll pray for you and follow you up. We are here every Friday. The Lord bless you. Keep coming and invite others in Jesus' name. Celebrate them and appreciate them as they go back. Let's take the following announcements very quickly and we're out of here. Press Bureau Consults Nigeria presents the Real Entrepreneurs Forum. Hallelujah. How to start and grow your business, how to raise capital, why most entrepreneurs fail, and so on and so forth. This is a business meeting. The facilitators are Mr. Femi Bolaji, the CEO of Intact Pharmaceuticals, Mr. Francis Yusuf, CEO Real Eagles Prince, and Mr. Victor Mataya, CEO Aspire Network. The date is tomorrow, 23rd of February. Saturday time is 9 p.m. The venue is Vet Multipurpose Hall. Watch out for the posters and please be there tomorrow, 9 a.m. in the morning. Hallelujah. This was put together by one of us. Please honor him and get blessed. Hallelujah. We are proud of this. Hallelujah. I think this is Isaac, right? That's Isaac. Hallelujah. We are proud to dedicate our new envelopes for mission and our school of ministry. Are you happy about that? <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We've made envelopes for our school of ministry and we've made envelopes for missions. So from today, anytime you're coming for Koinonia, hallelujah, as the Lord blesses you and as the Lord grants you grace, come prepared not only to give your offering but we'll drop the envelopes. You may not need to make any special call. You have your seed, whatever, from this night to sow into the school of ministry. These are arms of ENI. Hallelujah. The school of ministry is directed by Bishop Stan and the missions is directed by Jakes. Hallelujah, Pastor Jakes. So I'd like you to be part of what God is doing. Hallelujah. So every time you come from next week, inside and outside, we'll just drop the envelopes. You have your tithe, offering, and then appropriately just put in your seed there and we'll pray on it and speak into your life. I want to assure you that this house is fruitful ground. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, we are faithful with every money that comes and we use it for the reason why it was given. We dedicate this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for what you are doing in this house. We pray that everyone who will give for our school of ministry to raise and to train our students and to train generals in the spirit, my God, I pray that you will cause them to flourish and enjoy your blessings in the name of Jesus. And we pray for our mission, oh God, as we visit hospitals, prisons, police centers, mission fields, and we supply welfare to many people. My God, I pray that whoever partners with this project will experience an open heavens. We dedicate this. It will only be used for the glory of the king. No man will be glorified but Jesus alone. We dedicate it in Jesus' name. God bless you. Hallelujah. From after the service, if you feel God is leading you the, em the envelope, don't go with them, please. You just come and we'll place them there and then you just drop your seed. House on the Rock Foundation. 
Zaria presents Tehila Africa. A crazy African praise. The date is 28th February. Time is 10.30 p.m. Venue is Charity and Faith Missions. Ministering will be Steve Strings and many more. Dress code strictly traditional. Hallelujah. This is announcement from our School of Ministry. The closing date for the submission of the forms for ENI School of Ministry is next week Friday. Please listen carefully. Next week Friday will be closing for all the prospective students. And now the director has instructed that um, the fact that you have the form does not mean you, you are automatically a student. Hallelujah. And he said, you hold on with the school fees. We are going to go through um, a screening process and then we'll place the list. Am I right, sir? Bishop? Am I correct? Okay. And by the grace of God, the Lord has granted us grace to secure a venue. We'll be using God's time for our school of ministry. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He granted it unto us free of charge. Absolutely free. Hallelujah. We thank God for it. Learn to celebrate what God is doing in the house. So please, the first of March, are there still forms? Okay, well, there are still forms. I understand that there are some of you, especially those who are from Kano and Mina. You can meet Bishop afterwards and you get it. And I know there was a pastor that told me he would be around. Please wait and collect it for yourself and your pastor. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.